Your adrenaline is pumping. Over $20,000 is on the line. The clock is ticking. Buzzer beater bad beat has begun. The famous Texas Card House bad beat is back. Take your shot to win big. Be in any Texas Card House when it hits and you get your share. $100 cash in your hand. The bad beat jackpot rises every day and the qualifying hand gets easier and easier each day. Just by being checked in, you're a winner of $100, no matter which Texas card house you're in. Texas card house is the only poker club in the state offering you this. Come into Texas card house all spring to win. Hey guys, Wolfgang here. I'm here in Dallas at TCH, but on April 20th and 21st, I'm heading all the way down to Houston. That's right, they just opened up a new card room there, and I'm gonna come out to meet a bunch of you guys. The 20th is gonna be a live stream on their YouTube channel, TCH Live, and that's gonna be a 510. You guys are gonna wanna watch that. On the 21st, I'm hosting a meetup game from 7 p.m. to midnight. Anyone can make the vlog, and uh, who knows, I might put a bang sticker on you. If I'm lucky, not you, I'll see you guys there. Man, it's hard to follow Wolfgang Poker, but we're going to do our best. It's Ben K with you live from TCH Live, and I'm alongside my good buddy, like the German you know, Chris Moneymaker. What's up, Chris? Hey, man, how are you? Doing good, man. Good to see you again. Glad you're in the booth with me tonight, and I know everyone out there is too. We always uh, appreciate your insight, your uh, view of the game, and everyone's always super curious on how you play some of these spots, so excited to have you for the next two hours, as I understand it, at least. Uh, yeah, like uh, I'm first alternate, and so uh, like in case I have an open seat, I, I jump into the game, but otherwise I will be here for two hours and after that uh, cash point comes in. Yeah, so we'll uh, maybe have some meta game where we get to hear some commentary at first and then go see you uh, get in the mix on the tables right after, see if you can put your money where you're poker mouth is. I will try. <laughs> Thanks, everybody that's joined us tonight. What up out there in chat pro land? He doesn't need to be in the play. So. Uh, I see you all out there. Make yourself known in the chat. Playing five, ten and a quarter, no limit hold'em tonight. This is Texas Card House, Dallas. And we're going to be here for the next, well, I'll be here for the next four hours till 10 p.m. Central Time. And we are thrilled that you joined us tonight. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe on the channel. If you're watching on YouTube, Follow and subscribe on Twitch. I don't want them in. If you prefer the purple platform, uh, however you consume your CCH Live poker content, appreciate everyone being here tonight. A lot of talk going on, not a lot of cards. What's up, Pokemon Key? Kick up problems. Rina. Chris Moneymaker in the mix. If you got any high level poker strat questions or poker pro questions, Put them in the chat, who knows? We may read them and get an answer from... My recommendation for the flip, always go for the, for the slow roll. I was running pretty good for this the last uh, week. Ah, yeah, <laughs> so the... Don't look at your cards and then pure slow roll Phil, in the I end tried. when everybody showed. Yeah, I tried. heck yeah. <laughs> I imagine Chris Sturdy's... Oh, he looked oh, at him. He, looked he made a liar out of me. <laughs> so let's see. One hundred dollars from each player in the middle. Four cards face down. Five cards face up, and the luckiest player wins every time. And Danny says nuts. So he has the deuce five or the five seven ball. Wolf, Wolfgang has the five seven. Wolfgang in the mix, and uh, looks like Danny. They are chopping. Wow, it's kind of a beating. When you river the nuts with the five seven ball gutter, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> so that's how we start things off here at TCH Live. A lot of two card poker to be played, but we like to start it with some four card documents. Wolfgang had a pretty sick rep, but nine eight seven. Oh, that is a pretty sick rep. Five, five, five nine eight seven, like all of those. And he binks it. VD only with aces. That's no good. Flops tens and sixes, and aces no good. <laughs> That's What's up, Ivan? <laughs> Mallory says, going on a liquor run for the table, about to get a litty. <laughs> Mallory, um, you know, I 
maybe you're reading my nonverbal cues, but uh, we always <laughs> here in the booth. Have it's a pretty nice. dry air inside. It is yeah. a pretty dry area <laughs> back here in the booth. Some some clear, some brown. No, uh, we are flexible. We're flexible <laughs> here in the booth, but we always enjoy some some delicious bevs. Yeah, then you can pull it. Yeah. Like Drive safe. And uh, we got a real lineup here tonight. RV Phil won like a uh, million. He won a million last week. <laughs> it, it seemed like he could not be stopped. Unstoppable. On the Wednesday, uh, on the Wednesday night game too. So like playing five ten a court, he won like forty k or something crazy. And dirty sturdy on the button doing his thing. This is my guy. Three five offsuit. Almost calls Danny's raise on the button. Simon goes for it. Sam with the jiggities. Oh, the sturdy. Is no he, going knows, he knows we're, we're here to put on a show, folks. We're not here to play GTO. That's why you came there. <laughs> and, uh, of course, it comes ace, queen, nine. And so let's see if sturdy can. Backdoor straight. Backdoor straight. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Backdoor trips. Uh, he might take this opportunity. If this takes it down, tiny, tiny. Well, quarter. Instant call from the jiggities. Sturdy. Do you, do you go three streets with the five high ball? Big Interesting that Sam uh, decided against he betting it and goes for the check call. He might have said soft, but he means hard. Don't think he can call twice. 500. Sturdy's got heart. Got to give him that. I sound sturdy. He gets Sam show it, show it, show it, show it, show it. Show it. Sturdy. You're not Looks even it. showing oh, it. That's brutal. <laughs> show a five or something. <laughs> Sounds good. Bino. Pretty interesting first hand, and you like to see it sturdy in the mix. Putting on a show. You don't need the best hand to win in this game. Right. Good fold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the end, too nice for showing it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty standard open and three bat. And now Nick wakes up with the queens. Like from the lines, expecting a four bat. It's not a camera. <laughs> Look at these hands. Like a sizing, like going there out of position about uh, 3x, makes lots of sense. I think Danny has a pretty easy call. Like most uh, cold fall betting ranges there are pretty tight, so I think it's uh, built a lot around something like ace queen plus and uh, jack plus. So the sport uh, hits Nick quite good, could go for a small c bet, decides against it. So against the, I think with the king of clubs, then he has both options, can uh, yeah bet small or check it back. Like a small bet, like he bets very small, even smaller than I expected. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically it forces Nick to uh, yeah. call one street. One tenth bet, yeah. What a flop for Danny too. Top That's pair, king high clubs, and gets the fold from Nick. Pretty sick that he gets the fold there for 10% for <laughs> for bet. But yeah, I like it. I like Danny's sizing. Like I would go probably for something like 25% or check. Oh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> like when even the 10% do the job, the job then yeah, <laughs> probably he, he's is he probably folding to any size. Any size wow. I thought Wolfgang had flopped the queen high flush. That right. could have been interesting versus oh, yeah. Danny. And yeah, maybe there's merit to checking back since you just have the whole board seemingly locked up, top top with the nut redraw. But also 150 is basically checking back, so you expect to. Oh, I see we have a German fan in the chat, so like maybe you can learn something today. Last 
Good for it, good for it. Oh, Fady with three piece, ace nine of diamonds. In the small blind. Takes it down. Takes nice. it down. This time last week it was a pretty good game. Uh, it was a lot more multi-way. You didn't get you didn't get in the mix until later in the night, right? Yeah, yeah I got to see like like thirty minutes before the stream was over. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. I escalated completely uh, complete after the stream. With oh, Brian did it? Green. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a very good game. Uh, Todd Robinson was doing the commentating with me that night. Oh and, yeah, uh, he did a really good job. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I think he's already home. Yeah, somebody said he was. He went back. Uh -huh. Crazy game. I think we had even straddles up to 400 at the 10.25 stream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Wolfgang goes for the open. I expect a, flat, a call here from Ram. Danny getting a price 10.6 off. Discipline forward. Oh boy. Which is <laughs> George in the set, he uh, needs some of the RV Phil tactics. <laughs> like, watch the stream, try to copy. It's tough to learn. It's, like, tough, it's tough to learn. Oh, yeah, he, uh, everything was going <laughs> his way. <laughs> Wolfgang with a pretty standard seabird. Um, I guess against this, Ram has a pretty clear call. Great job, Mallory. Um, the second pair. Up, bro? 200 and a call. What's up, bro? Talk to Tough to bluff Ram at 10:25. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel draw comes in for Wolfgang. Yeah, uh, Wolfgang might get a, a a lesson. I think wrong. Wolfgang can go here for a big bat, and then Ram is on the south spot. Let's see if he can figure it out. Half, 50 percent. I don't think Ram's is super interested. In Goes for the 60 percent. Oh, okay. Makes me a liar once again. Got him. <laughs> We're going to have to postpone dinner. Nice hand for Wolfgang. We're going to have to postpone dinner. Yes, agreed. We got it. Man, that was one sick hand out of Yeah. Had last. He kept. Can um, you buy some more? Maybe a little bit more. Who did he keep stacking? Oh, it was Brian Green, right? Yeah. Last week, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he sucked down on that. I was playing a lot for uh, the last three weeks, and he was winning every day. <laughs> like, wow. like, what, what a like always, always very good profit. Heater. Very, very nice heater. Mallory played a 2-5 the other night where we had blind raises all the way up to 400. I, Mercy. Yeah. Classic Dallas 2-5. Yeah, that is a classic <laughs> Dallas 2-5. <two> Anytime, <laughs> any day. Battery like rises to 25, then <laughs> goes up to 500. <laughs> okay, let's start the RV Phil show. Let's call the button. <laughs> call the button with the Ace King. So, George, copy that. Now, Safine in the mix once again. Jack, a six, six, seven. Safine with a guard shot. Uh, Danny with some nice backdoors. RV still ahead. Not anymore. Fiend pairs, but vulnerable and rivers pure. Safine with a pair. We I mean, feel betting for value with the nut no pair, I think. And, uh, yeah, it's a proof. It's a proof. <laughs> yes, he went, I don't know. Maybe not. Too good. Too good. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, Chris Moneymaker, is. Uh, Real sincere guy. Everything he says is sincere and not sarcastic. Never. <laughs> never, never. How's it been going for you in the, the poker streets outside of the stream? Uh, I had a, like, uh, I'm not here for one month. I uh, had a pretty bad start, but the last two weeks were very good. So I'm super happy with my first month here in Dallas. Nice. nice. Everybody studied you while you were gone, and yeah, you didn't think they were going to adjust, and they adjusted. They did. <laughs> the 
you play any international poker or did you play online? Um, I played a little bit in Mexico, a little bit in Germany, and uh, yeah, some online poker, but uh, not, not that much. So, mm. like, yeah, watched lots of uh, here Dallas streams and uh, prepared a little bit for the trip. Nice. So, yeah, that was like, uh, like had a long vacation. <laughs> That's nice. He would have testing. He would have pursued. Preferred to see that six on the turn. I guess. Sixteen takes it down with a pair of nines. Thank you. Not much there for sturdy. Can I do a double cap with no sugar, please? Double yeah, cap, you. no sugar. Yeah, two <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just pissed off. <laughs> Can we order a bottle of vodka? <laughs> Can we order a bottle of vodka? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> to go to with go. a straw. Do I drink vodka? Yeah. Sure. Wine? We want to do steak. Ooh, we'll do some wine. wine. I'm down for wine. Wine, is, wine sounds, sounds good. Let's do wine. Okay. Yeah. Nick <laughs> Kington yeah, okay. suited. I'm not trying to get the YouTube works up Queens. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So far, so standard, pretty clear open, pretty clear three bet, and now I'll be fit. White, on rosé, I'm in for all of it. So. I'm in for it all. Wolfgang almost got those kings mucked. Well, next year, all of them together? Uh, no, no, not that. Uh, anything Josh is here to, yeah, to right. watch <laughs> Safin get <Ready>? felted. <laughs> See, <laughs> Safin has lots of fans in the chat. <laughs> Four piece coming? Yeah, whatever you want. I'm in. Yeah, I don't think Wolfgang is trying to get too like cute with the kings. Oh, that's an interesting one. Anything, anything. So we have open, three bet, cool call, four bet. <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting line. So, yeah, VT has an interesting spot. I think he should call here. And now Phil gets a prize. He gets. He does. I don't know if you can see at home, but uh, Moneymaker is licking his chops over here, <laughs> waiting to get in the game as it comes Jack Jack Six. Three way, four bet pot. Looks like a pot for Phil, right? I'm not drinking, but I'm suggesting. I expect like small bet from Wolfgang here. So something around 600. Famous is really good. Isn't that what uh, uh -huh. uh, what's his name brought the other it's day? It's a red Carlos. one, yeah. Carlos brought it the other day. No, no, I brought it for this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, VT called, and <laughs> then Avi has a decision. Yeah, this is such a pinch for oh, yeah, yeah. VD. Cabernet, correct. Thank you. Yeah, I guess for this price, he has to peer one card. So that's even pretty nice implies when he hits the screen, he makes that basically nuts. Like he goes for a race. Click. Uh, I mean, he's... Uh, I don't know. He, like I'm, I'm no big fan of the race here, so um, I think like again, it's a, a, a same, uh, like same like the same spot right we had before. Yeah. So uh, Wolfgang is uh, cool for that no, no, here, so his range uh, contains like something like I would say Jax plus um, Ace Queen plus. So with his race, he pulls out something like Ace Queen Ace King. Uh, Jax is caught, Queens uh, he's blocking a lot, so he basically isolates himself now against kings and aces or quads. So um, I'm no big fan of this play. So Wolfgang has against this like a pretty easy call. So like there are no basically no tough decisions for Wolfgang now. Yeah, and VD's got to be thinking what calls here other than stuff <laughs> maybe pocket tens. Ten. So ten. now tens are beating you. <laughs> Even ten is like another pretty bad card for him. So now, in case Wolfgang would fall bet there with his hands, which I'm not really expecting, but even now that is beating him. Mm -hmm. So I guess now Wolfgang can check it back. So he gets value by Queens, but uh, yeah, like he can he can get maybe one street, uh, but I would uh, prefer taking the street on the river. Yeah, shoving here puts Queens in a very tough spot. Uh, I think VT can find support against this. So I would give uh, VT like probably one more free card and try to get my value on the river. But yeah, Wolfgang's line now is so insanely strong. Goes for the cold forward pre-flop, um, bad calls the flop, and now shoves uh, uh, the turn. When he calls, 
to get some maximum value. I think Vitti could have uh, got away from this. $11,000 pod headed to a river <laughs> and two outs for Vitti. And it comes to seven. Seven. And Kings just against Queens. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? Just like that, Wolfgang Poker for the vlog. Taking down an $11,000 US pot. Kings besting VD's Queens. And, uh, Would be interesting on what uh, VT puts him. So, like, he check raises the flop, gets a call, and then checks to him on the turn, and then Wolfgang shoves. So, he needs to expect something like. Something like Ace King Diamonds. Ace Queen Diamonds. So, in case Wolfgang is bad calling of that, the, uh, like the flop, but. Uh, Two combos of hands. No. Yeah. Maybe. So, like in case he's uh, playing this line, I guess like after check race and call, uh, I think uh, Wolfgang is even checking those hands in a pretty high frequency back on the turn to like realize equity. I guess he's like basically very owning himself every time against Kings, Ace, and Quartz. Maybe same hand, but uh, I don't know. Like, I'm not the kind of this play. <laughs> That's a booger right there. Woo. Welcome to the stream, Wolfgang. 11,000. Really now he's going to get the phone call from the homie saying, hey, bro, we need you. Seat open. Seat open. <laughs> 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 What's what fun? <laughs> no, Trip good stuff for him. For good stuff for him. Yeah, it's really good stuff. You, know, and you love to I start the night stacking chips. Yeah, you know? 30 <laughs> minutes in and you nice get a full time. double. <laughs> Or close. I don't know what he started with. Yeah. And we're on to the next one, just like that. Yeah. So we saw an 11K pot. I'd love to get another 30 ball. We had a few last week. <laughs> that was also a special lineup of people. You know, you had <laughs> Brian <laughs> Green <laughs> and uh, Randy. 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 <laughs> yes. That was my I love this guy. This guy is amazing. Randy, he's a character. He's yeah. got some outfits. <laughs> he does. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> George Worth calling Rom's shot. Rom's going on a tear tonight. Mark my words. 22K uh, win. Yeah. And boss from. Like, I, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> There's people I'd read definitely rather play against than Rom. Yeah, like Wolfgang has a tough spot tonight. Like uh, having Rom to his left, like having no deep stack. So yeah. now let Rom double up. Then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rom could make his life very, very annoying. Can decrease your fun during the night a lot. <laughs> Is that a race? I made it 75. 75 from V. Yeah. Sturdy cause in the big time, so far so, so good. Heads up. Sturdy showing up with premiums once again. King four suited. Club in the door feels good. Some nice backdoors for VT. What's happening there? Oh, change. Okay. Hundred. Yeah. Hundred back call. Hundred in a call. King. King. Like it's it's an interesting card, pretty nice card for VT for continue uh, barreling. So he picks up some equity, decides to check it back, and uh, yeah, has now a pretty clear call. So unlucky that Sturdy got there, but I think I would prefer uh, bluffing the turn and checking back some rivers. Uh, like when we pick equity, pick up equity with the king, like uh, barreling uh, makes lots of sense. Mm. So, but uh, maybe he saved some money because Sturdy got there. Maybe he has a better read than me. I'm not going to put the Okay, no worries. I was just asking. Yeah, yeah. I am. So the $50 straddle is on. Yeah, VT is stuck. He needs to make some money back. Don't want anyone to. You could feel for us. You could straddle a hundred for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to make up for. Yeah. I got you. 
No, it's all good. It's all good. No, no hundred from Phil yet. No, no yet. Yeah. <laughs> Still <laughs> early. Just like high school. Need like ten more minutes. <laughs> I guess. And the hundred's coming. Ram with a hand. He's five suited. Two hundred. Doesn't get action. That sucks. <coughs> Raise and take it. Yeah, I think we'll say five suited. Ram can be happy with the outcome. Uh, collecting the hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. That's what I should have played. Yeah, the old, the old <laughs> Wednesday night, Wednesday nightly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually surprised You'll only 18 make people. First place money on this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> It's been like a lot more popular than this, right? Usually, this is like. Do a different one. Oh, they changed it. I'm sending Safin back to two five tonight. Oh, I see. I would say the chances are non-zero. Oh yeah, that's the one where you can win the five k. But it's two point five now. They dropped it. I wonder why. Yeah, probably. Yeah, the world of five k progressive. Yeah. If I got crushed, Sam ten six suited. Yeah. Lamp speedy calls. I'll be with a suit down. Checks his option, I guess. I guess he's in the straddle, yeah. Yeah. Comes ace, Still Jack. working? Oh, nope. Still working, baby. Right. Top. And I love every minute of it. He goes for the c yeah. on yeah. the spot. Uh, it's OK. Gets a call by Sam. Very loose. OK, yeah. not every minute. I lied. Fine. Fine, you got me. Not every minute. Hey man, that's all that's what life is about. Yeah, you right? can't love it all. Guess the yeah, turn goes check check a lot. Honestly, I think so if I didn't have BTS like the team I had, I would quit So I uh, need to control the pot a little bit have, like, and all can all go on the river. Sure. In case Sam is not bluffing. So in case Sam is bluffing, I expect BTS yeah, to call it pretty quick. And uh, yeah, no VTS are so pretty clear value but like targeting some Jack X. Takes it on. I guess if everyone's doing it, all the cool kids are doing it. Wolfgang having a night for himself, plus 6,600. Players are starting to add on. The stakes are rising. Stick with us. We're here for the next three and a half hours. As the stakes continue to rise here at TCH Live, Ben K and what is this little picture here? Chris, the it's real Chris Moneymaker. Chris is on Instagram. <laughs> uh, Pokemon or something? Yeah. With you. In Austin. Calling the action. Ago, put, like, Pokemons on their stacks. And I didn't have one, so some guy gave me one. Oh, he had multiple. Yeah, he had a whole we pack of them. Because when you, when you stack someone, you get their Mudkip. Oh, that's cool. You get their, their Pokemon, not, not just the Mudkip. Like you a Did you make the commentary yeah. last Wednesday? He had a, he had a I did the commentary last Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. I was remote. Ken, um, yeah, I played both the yeah. Kenna, uh, stack, with Kenna. Kenna, Kenna James. Yeah. Kenna James, yeah. 1 to 5. And like uh, he connected to me to uh, the, the real Chris Moneymaker uh, uh, and he got the confirmation that he likes that I'm using Correct. his nickname. Oh, uh, yeah? That's they tight. Pretty nice. That's like, cool. They're, they're friends. <laughs> yeah, Kenna James has been in that whole crew, like, like that original like ESPN World Series poker. I don't know who this that guy is. That was cool to see him play. Oh, I know him. Danny with the open, Sam with a flat on the bottom, and Phil is probably in the straddle, I guess. Oh, I've seen that on Facebook shorts and all this stuff. I'm like, great. Top pair for Sam. So how much did you sell it for? That's the question. Yeah, pretty clear check for Danny and Sam goes for two third bad. Right. If I couldn't. But does it have like sentimental value? Don't see Phil calling here. If I couldn't buy another one, right? And so I'm selling it, I could never get another one. Oh yeah. I would. It probably like fifty k. Holy shit. That. I guess if you could never get another one. Right. Right. Yeah. If I could never get another exact one of these, I would probably ask like 50. Wow. Your priorities That's are insane. completely backwards. That's so nuts. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. Maybe if this guy's on to something. Yeah, if it matters, it matters. I got snaps in out of 10. Maybe I'd go less than 50, but if yeah, you had 10, I wouldn't give it to you. That's this fair. Must be good. I understand. Just like the, the brand, you know? Sure, yeah, yeah. This is on Instagram now. Oh, dope. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Play the original game back in the day. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a little younger than you, but I, I used to. Uh, I used to. 
I don't know what original you're talking. Like I had a yeah, the red and blue one. The Game Boy. Yeah. I played the um the Ruby Sapphire. Okay, that was a little. And the Limpot. Well, the first one was like a little red or blue, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They had a yellow. Had a yellow? Well, that was like a re. Not much going on. Like a It was on the Game Boy with Pikachu on the very vertical one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was more of the advanced guy. Ooh. Yeah, the, the, the horizontal one. You look like an advanced guy. Still <laughs> checking. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang with the trays. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it from here, boys. I'll take it from here, boys. <laughs> Scooper I'll duper. Take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it over like nice I knew it was good. That kind of confidence. 155 US dollars. My favorite game was the Ruby one. Not bad. Two pots in a row. Yeah, I didn't know any of those ones. For Wolf Only King. I'm getting some presents. <laughs> <laughs> and now the, t the table has uh, descended into Pokemon talk, which is everyone's favorite uh, live stream poker conversation. <laughs> yeah, um, I had a few good ones. Nothing over like a grand, but I had like a, a Charizard. Yeah, me too. I but it was like Charizard. PSA 4 or something crappy. Uh, what did they give you for that? Or what was the value? The value? I think it's like 600 bucks. Wow. I have a couple, it wasn't, uh, first, it wasn't, it didn't have that cool first edition thing, it was like the, the King 7 off. That yeah, that's what so I had. Yeah. Back both um, going to full. But I have a few first edition hollows that are all really bad, like, yeah. Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah. I had the whole first set, but not, like the base set, not the first edition or whatever. Yeah. Man, I like, we're nerding out right now. <laughs> Yeah, you guys really are. We're getting uh, we're getting viewers left and right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon, Chad? <laughs> uh, good that he noticed himself. <laughs> yeah. Good self awareness. We didn't have to roast him. <laughs> no. At least I'm not like over there. We have to keep yelling. So st sturdy with another pretty loose open with the King 10 off, but I like it. I will do the same. Nick with and the Jiggities. Nick again with premium, probably pretty TS3 about 400. Probably not a Snorlax. 400. Yes. I don't think Sturdy can defend against us. A hand performs pretty bad out of position in a 3 bad port. And it's anyway like the bottom of his opening range there, I guess. So, um, yeah, pretty careful. you generally try to stay? Uh, I try to be uh, over 25%. So when I'm like, when I have like, uh, between something between 25 and 30%, I'm pretty happy with. Not like 70 or 80, like some of these guys. I don't have uh, enough money for playing some <laughs> <than VPIP. laughs> I think I've seen Galoo do 80% VPIP over four hours. Yeah. Some, some of the other ones. <laughs> If you get hands like Wolfgang's getting, uh, it's potentially possible to. Uh, yeah, I bet against the 80% from, from Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> so a nice ISO. Safin's so gonna call the 250. Oh, yeah, BD, he's oh, in the straddle, right? He's stuck the in the straddle, and he's gonna four piece it. It's a limp brace, right? Uh, yeah, hijack limp brace. I almost stared yeah, out. Like limp gets an Isa from the bottom, Safin calls from the straddle, and VT limp raises. Damn. It's a King's 3 suited. That's interesting. <laughs> a lot of people that just like, got a little uh, upset. Most players have pretty nuts at limp ra raising ranges. Um, I'm not sure if Wolfgang is aware that Ruthie doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they are pretty deep, so um, I expect Wolfgang to make the call here. Um, yeah, just yes, play 750, like they are playing like. Uh, 10k effective, Amen. so uh, pretty nice implied yeah, for hitting a set there in position. I guess yeah, when Wolf, in case Wolfgang <laughs> is calling, Safin gets a prize on a uh, good joint too. You lost your ring? Yeah. Just on the stream. Holy shit, bro. He calls. Safin gets uh, the sets to fold. Yeah, uh, I don't blame him for folding there. Um, looks already pretty strong when VT goes for the limp race. Like, uh, Pretty often, uh, like uh, limp raising range contains lots of ace king, king's aces, and his ace is not performing pretty good against this range. Um, 
surprised that VT checks now the A side flop. So that that board especially uh, hits this range a lot. So he should see that here in a pretty high frequency to target exactly hands uh, that uh, Wolfgang has. <laughs> but now I'm surprised that uh, Wolfgang now decides to uh, bet out. So uh, very weird. Like in my opinion, Viti's, short, uh, Viti's range here should be stronger yeah, after a limp, ra yeah. limp race. So That's I think Wolfgang thing. should be pretty happy yeah. with the free card here. But he turns his tens uh, effectively in, into a bluff. So I would expect like something like King Queen or whatever he has oh, in his range to see that. And now he goes for the check call with the King High <laughs> out of position <laughs> after a limp race. So why not? Let's go. And it comes <laughs> five, picks up the wheel draw. Picks up the wheel draw. So I so in case VT is checking now, I expect Wolfgang to check back basically always. Because what VT is doing there looks so strong. But now he decides to lead. What's what's going on there? Goes for the donk lead on turn. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on, in San Diego. Sorry guys, I'm out. <laughs> this is street poker. <laughs> Street poker indeed. So, in, so Wolfgang hasn't pulled it yet. So, <laughs> what, what is underneath us right now? Huh? Nothing. You guys find Putsy down there? There's like a step thing yeah, down there. Yeah, it's, it's for you? Yeah. It's under me. I, I have nowhere to go. So what is he taking now? So it's a, it's a limp race pot where he decided to check the top and beat the turn. So most, like, I would expect, like, air hands to see that's a flop and not to go for the delayed see that. This hand is just sick. <laughs> George says some poker is being played. F GTO. This is GTA. That's right. That's right. Uh, That's right. I agree. I'm lost too. This is some San Andreas poker right here. It's, folks. Uh, it's tough to understand for the German mind. So. <laughs> Unbelievable hand. I mean, you feel for Wolfgang just being put in the blender for no good reason. Just a strange line. Yeah. Uh, I, I would be interesting what uh, interested in what VT ports are. So, like not C betting, going for the delayed C bet. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm surprised by basically every step of the time. <laughs> so, let's see what Ram is doing. We have a limp on Abi Phil. Ram is isolating from the bottom. Yes, sturdy from the blinds. Goes. <laughs> Come on. Goes for the uh, three bet after the ISO. Um, pretty loose against Ram. Ram has a uh, pretty bad hand to continue. Like, very nice fold by Ram. I think his ace turn off doesn't perform that good against the uh, three betting range there. So, uh, yeah. Nice hand by Ram and uh, yeah, nice aggressive Let's play go, by Sturdy. Let's go. Get your. What was it Golden State? What was this team? Huh? San Diego. San Diego. Well, I don't know. Which, which oh, night? <laughs> Were you here yesterday? Yeah. Did you watch the game with Max Taka. and Zach? The Sixers game? Dude, Probably, I had yeah. I had the Sixers minus two and a half. Oh uh, yeah, that's all. They're up seven with like six seconds left on the clock. Yeah. Marcus Smart so somehow gets a breakaway and one layup. I don't know this why time he decides Marcus against Smart them. He goes yeah. for the open. So now it's a five-point game. Then he has a pretty clear pass on the bottom. The Three or misses the free throw on purpose, gets the perfect bounce, kicks it out. And they Sam has an off to the ace on and I win by two. I think it's oh not bad to call God, continue here uh, sometimes. Dude, it was like one of the sickest beats. That's a good price on a rake free Thankfully, game. I had like minus Danny was a set. VT was top pair, top kicker. Fireworks, let's go. I think, yeah, on the board was a flush draw. I think Danny should pass play pretty high frequency, try to get as much money. Yeah, possible. Line, like, so um, yeah, Sam is in a tough spot, job. so he flops his top pair, but yeah, faces lots it. of action. Yeah. Like he faces an early position C bet and the buttons, uh, button Dude, right re-raise from NBA Danny, so he shit makes shit a shit very, very good yeah. fold. Yeah. So, uh, very good fold by Sam. And uh, yeah, now not much BT can do except calling. And, uh, going over the top would be uh, yeah some kind of mistake. 
so yeah, needs like to uh, control the pot and like try to uh, come to down. So now things get interesting on turns. So let's hope uh, for an interesting turn, turn cap. It's so weird, right? It's like when some big Unfortunately, it's an uh, action killer. Guys, get so uh, turn rings the flush yeah, exactly. and uh, the, the front of flush. So uh, VT has a pretty clear better. check and Denny has two options. Good. So you can go uh, for another uh, barrel yeah, with I, a set, I which, so. I, I which I would like. I, you can still try to get value from an ace. And um, yeah, we don't have to be too scared about the uh, incoming flush. So, but uh, yeah, I guess it's this uh, very tough spot for Viti. So when we think about the range, uh, Danny re-raises the flop. So I think it contains uh, lots of flush draws, sets and ace jack. So we are blocking like something like Ace Jack pretty heavily. Um, so um, yeah, now Danny's range is very strong. His bluffs got there, and uh, yeah, River again super interesting. VT decides to lead for a block bet twenty five dollars. I guess uh, <laughs> Danny's going to ignore this and goes for another value bet. He should use a size to target uh, like an Ace X holding. So I guess, yeah, something like eight, nine hundred would be pretty optimal. Uh, try to get as much as possible from Ace King. That's what Danny does. Gets a snap call and one of the max, I guess. I was thinking that this was gonna come out. Nice hand by Danny. Can you imagine the bad beat gets hit on stream? Oh, that'd be so sick. I was thinking this was going to come in the river. Nice hand, nice hand. Nice I guess you got to delay the paperwork, right? That's $50,000 here. Yeah, right? For real. So sitting on things earlier, the guys keep the uh, one has kings and C8 has trees. Swap on queen, two, three. Oh, baby. Um, 15 days and he, he makes it 15, he makes it 40. He calls, turn his uh, check, turn in the king. Go check, check. And the river's uh, a nine. So the guy bets 100 with quads, and the guy with the top board calls 100. Calls? He calls. I heard about that hand. <laughs> I was at a completely different table and I heard about that. How hand. do you call? He didn't. So he said, Sturdy is open raising pretty oh, loose from under the gun with King 10. Gem, right? Phil says yeah. you yeah, yeah, yeah. can what? even you open the King 9. Jim didn't really <laughs> call. <laughs> of course, of course. Jim, <laughs> so, and Wolfgang gets yeah. aggressive. Uh, yeah. raises, uh, yeah. Against the early position open from Dude, Phil. The the so, 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 I think it's uh, nice to mix in sometimes. Flatting is for sure also an option. Of course, the amount of money he now has sturdy lost. with the king nine yeah, suited like, from the blinds. God, Going for the cold four? No way. I know, I'm like, what are you doing? You don't like money? I've seen stuff like that. Before. That's what Mr. Sturdy wow. is doing. Boom! We have a game, guys. <laughs> we are now playing poker. <laughs> VT goes for the fold. <laughs> Pretty sick. Yeah. How do you, if you're sturdy. This guy has feeling. Just like feels that Wolfgang is weak and goes for it. First time Wolfgang's done this tonight. Wolfgang giving the stare down once again. Not much he can do. <laughs> like study isn't uh, even that deep. So in case Wolfgang calls here, like we have 3k in the pot, like with like 3k behind. So and Sturdy is too shy to show it again. Sturdy so. playing like he's got to be somewhere. He's, uh, he's been open raising these middling hands. At yeah, first, like calling the three rods, I was a five three off. Now the cold fall with King nine suited. Okay, guys, we have a game. <laughs> Look at the scoreboard. And Ram, Ram hasn't even started yet. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So curious when players decide to pick certain spots to do that. It's like Sturdy is playing lots of poker. This guy is feeling. Yeah. So. I low fold. I guess I do. Have you looked? I have. Good job. Oh, okay. I like your discipline tonight. I hate it so much. Doesn't mean it's a good hand though. <laughs> I was gonna again, offer this is like exactly how it's playing. Phil's not Wednesday, folding like much, blind versus blind. He's no. gonna defend the Bang. 97 off. Circuit pops. Yeah, which is also fine. Like uh, when you were there. Uh, uh, was a pot. Yeah. That was pretty sick. And it works a good guy. Phil's a good guy. Yeah. Phil's a good guy. He's yeah. He's, he's good people. That's the last thing you want is to go to bad people. Then you're then you're actually too much for him. 
Listen, I don't tell bad people that they're here. <laughs> I'm a sub ward from these kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody that's tuned in tonight from home. Hope you're going to have a good Wednesday night. Not here. Spin Not K here. and the, in the, uh, but but the German moneymaker okay. with <laughs> you commentating from the booth. <laughs> you too. Live here in Texas Card House, Dallas. It looks like Ram reloaded. So, yeah. Two sixes with a $9,000 stack. Okay, let's go Ram. Get them. Danny will say his check. Goes for the pretty light 3 bet against Ram. Um, Steady will say his deuce. Come on, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, good luck Danny. <laughs> I guess Ram has a pretty clear call here. Except Ram does some gangster stuff. <laughs> no, caught. Interesting. Like, uh, best, way better board for Ram than for Danny. Um, I think Danny could see that, but I see him also checking back a lot here, especially against Ram. Three bottles. Oh, yeah. Not yet. Goes for the one third. Uh, sure I, I expect Ram to call going. minimum one street here. Do your wife, does your wife yeah, Ram also could, could consider uh, check raising here to, for denying some uh, equity against um, some overcard holdings. Yeah, my wife. But uh, calling here is uh, yeah, standard play. Seven. What's up? Uh, another pretty good card for Ram. Uh, I think uh, Fury could uh, yeah think about leading here some uh, like in, in some frequency. Also for the same argument, like That's lots of the same uh, protection I mean, against uh, all smart. of uh, Danny's overcard. So ace king, ace queen, king green, ace jack. So, and uh, yeah, with a pretty small size well, green, he can deny all the equity yeah, against sides like this. Sides against it. And then the seven, uh, Danny has uh, close to fewer check back. Like, not much he can do here. You knocked out five partners? Yeah. All the partners had $20 bounties. Green. Interesting card. Like, better card for uh, Danny's range. I think against uh, on this card, Ram has another pretty clear check. And uh, no, 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 Danny has the uh, option to bluff this card, but Ram doesn't give, so, give him the chance. Goes for the 60% uh, block. Um, no big fan of this lead here. Um, I think uh, Danny hits this river quite often. So when you see Wetting there with his uh, ace jack, he's for sure see Wetting also ace queen and king queen. So he has for sure lots of snap calls on this river and probably also some traps like aces. Um, so that's why uh, I think Ram has more like more bluff catcher than uh, he uh, block bet there on the river. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Took it down. Uh, maybe he avoided a bluff from Danny there. So it would be in a tough spot when Danny decides to bet like 60% on this river. Right. I mean, I knew what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, put it on the combo drill. But like, he, he never puts Danny in a difficult situation, a difficult spot with this. Danny can play super honest there. When he has something like ace, king, ace, jack, he can just fold against the 1.1k. When he has a queen, he can just call. So he's like super protective on this card, and it's uh, very tough for uh, Danny to make a mistake against this best. Hmm. Oh, whatever do you mean? <laughs> How about this board for Wolfgang? Top pair open in a straight draw. Leads right away. Rom yeah. with a gutter ball, quickly calling. Yeah, today I can laugh at it. Oh, then yeah. Yeah. oh, oh my goodness. I was like, really, dude? Clubs on the turn. Interesting that Wolfgang decides to uh, start betting on the spot. Probably he wants to deny some equity, yeah, but uh, yeah, in theory, like this, uh, more dynamic boards uh, are better for the in position player. So I would, uh, yeah, do lots of checking there. So I think mm -hmm. like C betting there versus 7 6 is fine, but like his main strategy could, should contain lots of checks. Mm -hmm. 
Wolfgang continuing to dominate the stream for the first hour ish. So yeah, first hour. Our mid sticks. That's the one. Live when stream, that? five, ten and a quarter. Soon, no? Good yeah. showing from Wolfgang so far. We'll see if he can pack it for the next three hours. And that's the challenge with running good early. Maintaining that stack for the remainder of the night. Ooh, that's a juicy Rake one. Rake is going up a little bit. Oh, is it? I think. I assume that's What's what the it. guarantee? Like three? 2.5? No. no, I don't have no idea, actually. Probably two. VVA 6, 142, races to 150. Pretty standard open by VT. Uh, or is that two calls from the small they line. VT is not going to be able to get away with many light opens with Phil on his left. <laughs> at least for one street. Pretty tough. Phil is going to want to see a lot of flops. Yeah. Can see it open in the pair for Danny. Uh, Phil has a middle pair and a gut shot. <coughs> Top pair and a gut shot. And uh, leads immediately. I think against this, Danny has a clear call and uh, VT a clear fold. Quick check check. Makes, makes some sense. And now uh, I think Phil has a pretty clear value bet. This is 400 for value. And he feels close. Hart's got there. Pretty scary board. Like, yeah. uh, Phil was leading the flop into two players. Uh, then, for some reason, decides to check the turn. And now bets big on the river. Uh, he can have a bunch of stuff. So I don't blame Benny for, uh, here, Danny for calling or folding. Jack. Nice and fifth. Nice Gets hand. paid on the end, fourteen hundred dollars. Let's play a big one. Do you know I can golf? I'm not supposed to talk during someone's backswing. Yeah. So, um, would y'all compare that to the situation right now, where it's like Danny's thinking, like? No, it doesn't matter how big the pot is. You, you are welcome to have chatter, a conversation. Right? Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. This is a stream. Actually, even off stream. Yeah, right. Talk it up. Right, right. $100,000 dollars pot. Have a conversation. <laughs> Isn't that what prompted one of Phil Homies? Uh, yeah, exactly. Ranks? We want that. Let someone go off. That'd be fun to watch. Yeah, as long as I don't lose right. the then we're good. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the worst at that, talking to yeah, someone's backswing. Okay, I think that's just, like, really bad. But you're not supposed to do that. No, but that's but because I you're affecting them. <laughs> Sam, yeah. ace, king of diamonds. I guess it's poker. Am I, though? Am I? I don't know. I don't golf. I have no idea. I don't either. That's why it's like yeah. when I do golf, it's so Isn't bad because I don't know so how to Because his dad was doing that every time. Okay. Oh, is that what they say? Oh, that's why I heard that story. That every time that Tiger pretty was Pretty big open swing, race goes for the 5x. Still uh, on the bottom on uh, pretty, with a pretty standard yeah, call. Yeah. No, Ram is the same hand from the big blind. I mean, expect a uh, pretty big squeeze, like something get, like 1.1k, yeah. 1.2k. Uh, 1. 1. 1. 1. He goes for 1k. Um, yeah, I would That's, size slightly yeah, bigger, yeah. but I think uh, with uh, the stack that uh, Sam has, like the sizing is completely fine. And uh, yeah, Sam has two options. He can uh, shove here or um, call. I think with the stack, uh, shoving makes a lot of sense. So you don't really want to invite like Phil into the hand, silent. so uh, try to collect yeah, the pot now bigger, and yeah, or maybe. to get it in the Yeah. He agrees. If someone's in the Ram tank for too long, though. Phil has a pretty easy fold and Ram will snap call. Well, you take as long as you want. Or you feel not immediately folding. Yeah. Well, it's Phil. He needs his time. That's fine. He against it. doesn't feel it. Rom with Ace King. Here we go. Good luck, good luck. Good luck, good luck. luck, luck. 8600 in the middle. Chop the shop. I go one. Sam, like slight, one slight time. favorite of the suit of Ace King. Here we go. Free rolling it a bit. And, uh, still free rolling. No. Nope. Nope. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Chop it up. Each player wins $165. More money for your sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, we don't chop. I like the idea of uh, 
took it from, but what do they do? They run like they just do high card to scoop. Quarter. We yeah, did like this uh, thing two weeks yeah. ago, uh, like off stream. And there, yeah, it was fun. actually Phil's idea. Like we played uh, the double board PLO bomb pot, and so always cool. when we had a chop pot, he said high card for the pot. <laughs> 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 like in this game, like you have like massive bomb pots. Right, right. <laughs> so I said, man, I don't want to do high card for this one. <laughs> What a VGM. <laughs> yeah. no, he likes to gamble at the moment. <laughs> Love it. Wow. Who's that? What is this, Utah? The first liquor store I went to didn't have Oh, you should have What? Well, you actually drove? Uh, I thought you were going to door dash it. What? You actually went and picked it up? Yeah. Oh. Then you could have just grabbed. Oh, well. So what happened? What's the verdict? Two bottles? Oh, Camus is good. It's not cheap. What kind of vodka? 125 root. Sounds like an We start with the wine, we end with the vodka. All right. <laughs> yeah, Sam of the old one, Wolfgang Kierford. Sounds good. Uh, Danny from the Big Blind uh, could think about putting yeah, uh, the ghost for this yeah, yeah. It's, uh, discipline wow. for it. I, mean, I, for uh, yeah, I think uh, mixing in the quality of some kind is uh, no mistake. Not then. Um, what's his name? Lee. He sells, yeah. it. he sells me the case for... Don't oh, don't say this stuff out loud, Sam. You're going to kill the guy margin. How much, uh, <laughs> how much, uh... <laughs> what? Thank you so much for going. That's awesome. Yeah, I thought it was good. Sam, you don't know, need 20, 20, 26. And they would only sell you, Stacks like, are growing. don't want my money? Like, I want to buy more bottles. We've yeah. learned that sturdy yeah. talks Wait, during people's backswings. Yeah, we got five, I think. Oh, Isn't that the boys <laughs> like <laughs> famous red wine? We would have said there's only four glasses on the board. We only have eight, we only have eight I glasses, right? Because it's four oh. glasses a bottle. <laughs> I only think. Don't worry about that. That's kind of how it works. Are you drinking too? I'll just do the vodka. I don't really like vodka. Okay, so yeah. eight wine glasses and one vodka, whatever. No, I'm not doing one. Okay, seven. Scratch I'll, wait, I'll wait for when everyone does vodka. I'll take, I'll take either. <laughs> I'll I'll walk walk I'll just what I want. Yeah, right. Jesus. Yeah, I'm not here to grab it out of my ass. I know. Yeah, getting close to getting out of line. <laughs> Interesting, Danny decided against letting the ace wow. turn off uh, in the big turn against the Sam's open. But then decides one hand later to three bet ace turn from the small blind. <laughs> <laughs> the randomizer. Thanks, so. it's That's so interesting. Good, yeah. Oh Who, Sam? Looks like he's oh, not, yeah, uh, not shy to play yeah. big boards out of position against Ram. Like, even with Mark and Hooding, it's now the second time he's still at him. Like, first with Ace Jack, now with Ace 10-0. Interesting. Keep going up. I, there's no juice. I don't know. I try to avoid the large pots out of position if I can. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not my favorite position <laughs> to be in. No, no, no. I don't, I don't no, think no. many guys like to play big pots out of position. It's like the yeah, toughest sport you, you can have. I don't know. Coke. What's going on? Yeah. Is it a thing in the US? No. No, I don't think so. I, I know, I'm sure people do three times that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a common thing. No. Nor does that sound appealing. Yeah, that's that's not a common thing. No. Nor does that sound appealing. Not at all. <laughs> Phil calling 25, sturdy, complete, Sam checks three ways. Let's play a big one. Ace, queen, deuce, top pair for our, or excuse me, middle pair for RV Phil only. How's dad life treating you? Congratulations. I saw you. Yeah, Phil is going nowhere against the $25 bet. It's 3-3. Three, three. And in case Sam wants to win the spot, he has to go, uh, yeah, pretty big, don't see Phil fully. Snap call. Nice, Five, ten, a quarter, fifty, yeah, maybe a hundo. An RV proprietor? Uh, no, not yet, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Once the vodka and the red wine starts flowing, maybe we'll get the hundred ball. Nah, I'm pretty sure about that. You can't buy it under any anywhere else. A hundred is cheap for the You can get it at cents or seventy-five. Two eights. Yeah, I like them. Grace. 
Wolfgang. Ace Queen. Interesting that he has a pretty small Strewbet sizing in position. So uh, most players go as a default like 3x. Yeah. So a deep stack like going even From a little Florida. bit bigger is uh, yeah, pretty standard. He goes a little bit smaller. Like interesting. Oh, okay. so uh, pretty good board for Wolfgang. So I expect him to see but here a lot like with a super high frequency with a one third to fifty yeah, percent like sizing. High school, yeah. And against that, yeah, not much Phil can do. Freaking horrible, bro. Well, let's see what uh, if Phil is capable to, to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, he is, he's going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that was like shifting industries. Um, so he was in jewelry, you know, had a couple eight, of jewelry eight stores. Eight for him. Oh, RV Phil. At the time, like, Doing what he does best, drilling the gym. Incredible, he incredible. Into, uh, gas he's the chosen one. <laughs> He, has, he uh, is the chosen one. Nice check. So on this uh, card, it's like together. a pretty pretty much a brick. I think Wolfgang can go for very high frequency uh, double barrel. He's even the ace of clubs, uh, which allows him to love lots of uh, rivers that contain a club. So he has like one key note out to the nuts. Uh, he decides against bluffing here, so I would expect a, a, a pretty a pretty high frequency bet. Like targeting something like uh, yeah, like a ten, yeah, so maybe something like jacks. So all all hands that are in a pretty tough spot for calling. Three goes for a pot size bet. Uh, no big fan of this, I guess. Like most of the good king eggs of Wolfgang would have had the turn. So uh, Wolfgang is representing some kind of weaker range, so he's probably range debating the flop. So I would. Size smaller, go probably for a block bet or a check, but uh, yeah, anyway, he wouldn't get a call, so a nice. Phil, hurry back the way. Phil hitting the miracle turn card to now get unstuck. Plus 240 on the night. Yeah, probably Scotty Chef again. Oh, yeah, Masters Week, baby. Can you get Miami this time? They're our favorites. I like Sanjay. I like Sanjay. Okay, fair enough. He's probably one of my favorites. Okay, if you do go to Miami, did you see the new documentary that came out on Netflix? There's like this bar slash restaurant that's like on South Beach, like right by the beach. It's called the Pelican. controversy, too. Just remember the Pelican. It has the greatest margaritas. I feel like the live golfer is going to win, so there's you know, everyone that went over to the live. But they're so good. And I don't know if you're into cigars okay, and stuff. No spare this hand. Rams are so pretty clear. Open there. Can you get there. a cigar there, too? I'm going to look out for one of those. <laughs> so he goes fancy again. Three bet against right? Ram. Queen six suited. I don't know why, but today people like to three bet Ram very light. Play Masters or just the US Open? Yeah, like Phil Mibson and, oh, he's gonna and play? Brooks. Yeah, they're all playing. Oh, wow. Yeah, any, but against this, that the Ram is going well. nowhere. Tries, I guess a pr pretty good price for popping a set. I thought the PGA was banning on the... And if, I mean, if a live player wins, it's going to create even... I mean, yeah, it's yeah. going to create even more... Interesting board for Sturdy. Overall, better they, board I mean, for Ram. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. They uh, but Sturdy has some like, uh, nice backdoors. So he has a gut shot, backdoor flush draw, and his overcard is a queen. It's the best. Goes yeah. for a small size C bet. Like, uh, yeah. very small sizing, Which like uh, sucks, quarter pot. Kind of, but you know. And Ram goes for the quick call. Is, uh, um, so far, so good. Like, Ram is still ahead right again. Deuce! So wow, overcard. another turn set. So Back to back hands, drama. the two outer. I mean, this arrow ball so interesting that what Sturdy is doing like now. So he has no like short on value, but uh, it's got shot. But it's a pretty bad ball for him, so. Besides against uh, betting again, Ram is a very nice uh, check here. I think in case Sturdy would have like an over pair to, and where he decides to pop control uh, the turn, he will bet for sure the river and he can go for a nice check raise. Plus he gives Sturdy the chance uh, uh, to bluff on this, uh, on this board. And now Ram does, Ram thinks and uh, yeah, goes for the big check raise. Expect something like He's got to price it to where Sturdy can feel like he can sh maybe three bet shove. 1500. 1500, yeah, I like it. This might induce Sturdy to just about that 13. 13. Yeah. 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 Nothing Sturdy can do. Like, both I guess Club's got there too. Yeah. 
Very nice time by Rom. Sturdy blocks is straight, but unblocks clubs. I mean, what? So, Sturdy, what are you thinking about now? <laughs> I use a hand as my strat. We as queens. Queens will make sense. No, it's not. I don't know. <laughs> and Rom takes it down, rivering deuces full of sales. Wolfgang's the only one making any money in this game, it seems like. 4,000 up top, VD at the bottom, minus basically 5K. A lot of poker to be played, though. <laughs> Ten and a quarter, no limit. Be buying into this game, five k. Hey, yes, five k or a hundred, <laughs> give or take. Yeah, I, I think five k is a good plan for this game. Like when you play ten twenty five, on the straddle side fifty, I would reload to ten k. So uh, yeah, I like playing like four hundred big clients. So yeah. depends a little bit how the how the game plays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, to one fifty from Rom. Danny, ace five suited with a smooth call. VD, king ten, royal flush draw. God, what is that? There's been so much aggression with king ten. <laughs> okay, VD three bets to 500. Already filled, jack nine suited, calls cold. Back over to Rom. It's like, how am I in a four way pot right now? Position from VT uh, to squeeze, then the early position caught from, from Phil. And he now basically er, gets a prize. Yeah, he's on the button, notionally. Last position with a price, 1700 in the middle. Ace in the door. I know, right? Boom, what a flop for Sometimes him. it's okay to spectate, I guess. for yeah. RV Phil, and the royal flush draw continues for VT. How's the business, Sam? Like, oh, yeah. Selling cars? Good. Season four. Yeah. So let's see how VT plays this one. Expect a uh, high frequency C bet here. I'll never do this late. Goes for big C bet. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you just came like later. So the question is, like with the sizing, what is he really targeting? <laughs> so when he uh, wants to fold out like pairs or deck X, like I guess a one start sizing would be enough. Like with the bigger sizing, he's already like, well, he starts already targeting uh, Ace X holdings. So uh, looks like he's going for yeah, <laughs> like a big bluff. And even if in case he's uh, yeah, not not getting there. But uh, yeah, interesting sizing. So Danny against this uh, with a with a pretty clear call. <laughs> Well, my building Six is clubs. Got electric charging, so I might as well get electric. King high or the nut flush. It, it punches on the highway. Yeah. 3,700 in the middle. So in, in fury, uh, Vitti <laughs> should do lots of checking here. Um, like the, um, the flush card is uh, always a little bit better for the in position player. So um, yeah, I would like to see a check here. Um, even with this SPR, um, I guess like uh, land shoving lots of rivers makes sense. I want to sell in the next two months. Um, so I, <laughs> I have all cash. Yes, Even with the king eye flush, right, it's always nice to have some flushes in your checking range. He goes for block bet, which I like too. So pretty nice getting some more value from uh, yeah from from. Yeah, different aces, potential weaker flush draws, um, avoiding uh, some uh, back checks. I, I, I like the sizing a lot for VT. Interesting. I guess you could choose the uh, same sizing also with fans like ace king, ace queen, just to block that and uh, just uh, yeah, hoping that uh, players don't. Uh, yeah. 
go crazy or you induce uh, bluff raises with this. But uh, when you have the nut flush uh, draw in this range too, or the nut flush in this range too, your uh, range is pretty protected. Forty-three hundred dollar pot. It's the one VD needed. It cuts his loss in half. Only losing twenty-five hundred now. Nice one. Drinking again. some Camus out of a styrofoam cup. Cheers, everybody. Everyone drinking over our super expensive yeah. table. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, guys. You're not going to see that elsewhere. It was fun. It was fun. Are we splitting this? Who got it? I need to get someone filled. Yeah, Phil, let us know. I appreciate you. You got it, man. Happy to split. Phil can afford it. Phil can afford it. I actually feel like maybe like 15 months. Don't worry about Phil. Don't you worry about our Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's get a 50 around. Get a 50. Two thirds left? Oh, bad. Cool, thank you. Ram out of the straddle opening to 75. Danny with a pretty clear flat. Safin with the low jack flat, flat uh, ace jack off. That's pretty loose, so I think yeah. I can understand Danny's flat. In other I'm not words, no big fan of the ace jack off you know? there, but uh, almost if you want it. to see some hands. <laughs> Nick, also a nice <laughs> hand uh, that plays well, multi boy. Five players. Five players, uh, Ram is the best of it. Safin flops the uh, nut flush draw. Pair for VT. And not much for the rest. Or Zafin with top hair in the first row. That easy, Spin. That easy. David, every time I play, I let you bluff me. I don't know why. Did you both didn't play yesterday? Uh, on stream? Uh, yes, he did. <laughs> oh, okay. How did he do? Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, Dong doubled someone and then he left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of the best yeah. wines out there. No, I think he, I I'm think pretty sure he won. It's a good but couple he, of nice. he, Yeah, I think he left uh, it goes on pretty smooth. early after the stream. He yeah. played like 30 more minutes or something. Oh, okay. It's not that bad to color right now. It's not that bad. Danny with the KQ, raising it up to 75. And Sam, first aces sighting of the night. Like we can flip for Two red aces. What? Three back to 250. <laughs> Wolfgang, deuces. Could be dangerous to have Phil here now. Prom, heads up, I think he's <laughs> oh, in there. Could be. Yes. Three ways he's in there. Yeah, heads up, I don't see Danny calling there. Like, now he gets a prize. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in case Ram wouldn't have called yeah, Danny when I get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. Interesting board for everyone. Straight and flush draws for Ram. Very good board for Ram. Top pair for Danny, aces for Sam. Yeah, this could get a little spicy, folks. And Sam is not that deep, so they just play 4K effective. Goes for the Seabird. So Ram can do uh, everything he can uh, yeah. call, he can check race here. So Ram is stuck. So. Still decides to call. Nothing Danny can do uh, except calling. Don't yeah, see him ever check raising here. I think check so raising it doesn't accomplish a lot. It's gonna get hit soon. Yeah. yeah. Once the full houses come into play, it gets a lot easier. A lot easier. <laughs> no. Now we got a pot. Now we have a pot. <laughs> <laughs> right before, like, check. Then I'll just sit there. Yeah, uh, we can order at like 8.30. Okay. Jack, so some kind time. of uh, also, like, action killing close. card. Yes. So, a uh, pretty for, like, scary card for lot. Sam. Low so Chipotle because, never uh, anything. Yeah. Never. yeah, some two pairs cards there. Or like the, the Queen Jack mainly. 10-9. Uh, uh, lots of potential draws out there. So, um, he decides to continue betting. Uh, but, uh, sizes again like 50%. Uh, so Ram has again all options, could go for a race here or for the call. Now so when it goes bet call, Danny's like... Um, decides to play it passive. 
so yeah, <laughs> now it's Dennis in the spot. You just have no idea where you're at with your hand now. So Sam line, Sam's line looks very strong, so he decided to bet twice uh, into two Chico. So uh, on the flop it could be a bluff on the turn, tough to find a bluff there. Good fold. What a question. Very good fold by Danny. Yeah, I mean it depends. Like yeah, they come uh, safe for the aces. Breaks out. Yeah. So Ram has showdown value, uh, and uh, yeah, Sam could go for some kind of finish value bet against uh, Queen X. So target something like Queen Turn, King Queen, but uh, yeah, can end up in, he can he can end up in some rough spots here when uh, Ram decides to uh, turn his hand into a bluff. But I think with this SPR, yeah, that's, oh, okay, fair. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, like with this 2K, Ram has like no more option to bluff, so he commits himself, and Ram has a pretty clear fold here, in my opinion. Yeah, unlucky for Ram, but yeah, realized his equity and uh, yeah, just couldn't get there. Too many outs. Nice little win for Sam there, yeah, adding like 2K it. and profit to his yeah, stack, fading the world. I know, but, the but two vodka, aces. I get loud and crazy and... Bring it up. No, 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 <laughs> we're not doing that, no, no. I already, I already talk enough as it is. <laughs> Yellow vodka moving. No, no, no. Vodka. They can always, they can always vodka and stuff. I don't think they want to do that. that. Every time That's you win thing. a pot, yeah. you have to take a shot. If you Every win a pot, take a shot. Sam now up 1,200 on the night. Oh, I wish. He's all of our backers. You should not have said that, because now it's like, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely giving the back. It, that's what, like, whenever like Griggs plays, he always brings like Belvedere with him. So I see him sitting, and I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. You know, like, it's inevitable. Deuces for RV Phil. Let's see if he can do it he's again. Always oh, yeah. He's always Turned having to get time. set with the two eights a few always. hands ago. Safim. The tanks. Two tens. Raising it, RV Phil. Phil. Going anywhere. He wants to give you more money. Here we go, baby. <laughs> the moment Thanks, I've been ducks. waiting for. <laughs> the moment and it comes was, 10. The moment he was waiting for. So, I also think let's see if Phil gets away. I wonder if he's left us. I had a clan. Uh, one time always caught. <laughs> <laughs> Four to see that zero. <laughs> Nine. More likely he had a good hand left. Yeah. Seven. So I think I'm uh, the wolf on this uh, on this turn card. You can check or uh, continue betting. Um, yeah. Both op option have has uh, advantages. Still wolf going up a lot. Uh, really down a little bit. Um, let's see how things develop here. Action from the small line with the seven for suited. Let's see if he gets some action. He gets it from Safine uh, defending his uh, straddle with the seven five off. Out flops ram, uh, flops bottom set. Let's see who wants a spot more. Yeah, pretty clear call for Safine. Six uh, gives both players. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, gives gives Ram gives Ram even straight. <laughs> Continuous betting. Safina has now also an open ender. See Safina calling here. Pretty nice throw for Ram, but uh, don't see him getting any more value from Safin. Goes for the 2x spot over that. Uh, very nice sizing by Ram. 
like targeting uh, like two pairs of Safine. Uh, Spat is very polarized. Um, yeah, don't see Safine calling How here. How long you tell? Five more months. Five more months? In Dallas. Yeah. What the shit? Is that a six month lease at a building? I'll let you take it this time. I had it. Nice. I stand around. Thanks. Are you up here a lot? Yeah. They sent me down to Houston uh, April 20th and 21st. Ooh. But, yeah. Awesome. I like those. They have the new class. location there, right? Yeah. <laughs> they have spring and then they have one <laughs> in Houston. <laughs> I'm doing the one oh, in really? Oh, so they there. kept the spring. Yeah. Wow. I'm doing it around at the Houston. Yeah. 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 You're going to go to Austin? What did you have? Yeah. Two pairs. Yeah. I want to play folder. Yeah. I had nothing. No, I just. I mean, Doug is really turning it up with the. Wow. I would have lost that. You can talk about it, maybe not the name, I guess. It's all G1 channel. He's really pushing the content, trying to bring attention. Yeah, the gambling. I was going to Especially when the cards are hitting that and it's like the nuts. Yeah. I want to see him on that. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> OG wants to like I'm embracing her. I'm embracing her out there. I was late though. I played got there maybe like yeah, 27. Like, so it's so tough. Uh, Olympic from the hijack of the deck 9. Uh, we'll take over for us on the cutoff. How far have you tried? I'm sure. Uh, well, from yeah. From here? Or from you? Wolfgang isolates well, with uh, King A2 uh, like So go heads up to the top. Check to Wolfgang. Uh, who flops the second pair. Uh, can see what here. Like pretty high frequency. Uh, benefits a lot from pulling <laughs> out uh, random um, over cards. Um, a view of the scotch uh, goes nowhere. So uh -huh. let's see if I'm. Like seriously playing poker. Right? Oh, Seven, not I, uh, seriously. It's a nut yeah, with your I mean, like a loser. Really decides to use this card. Yes, he's targeting yeah, like, some uh, A side holdings. Partial. Um, yeah, 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 it's the second pair of holders. So I think he has a pretty clear call. So I would like. So river break. Like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So let's see if we can pull the trigger. Drive straight to Winstar to go punt at one two. Lose 200 bucks, lose 200 50 dollars uh, is not enough, I guess. <laughs> what year? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't know. It's just like what? All yeah, that goes. Boss. 50 dollars is not, not enough. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not bad at it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what happens if he bets 500? Yeah, so I think that would be enough. I like, like to uh, pull them. Yeah, I'll explain one, eight. two, though. But uh, yeah, 50 dollars uh, is yeah. not yeah. enough. Yeah. 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 It's hard to make a pair in this game. Yes. And uh, for 50, but it's crazy what losing can do. Happy to call there on the end. It like makes you want to get better. Yeah, yeah. And then the competitive aspect. Oh my goodness. Pretty tame yeah. game so it. far. Relatively straightforward. Not a ton. I mean, <laughs> there's been some loose opens. Yeah, this is like the one thing you got to do. If you <laughs> I haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> for myself personally. When, yeah, when did that supposed to happen? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no big better, setups so. yet. I mean, your model went up. Yeah. 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 Some middling size spots. Kings Ram, have versus I got queens <laughs> for stacks for Wolfgang. <laughs> yes, but uh, RB Phil doing his part. Like, seriously? Playing his share of hands for sure. Like, since he's played so good. And yeah. Sam with ace king. Yeah, when he won the tournament, he was like a month old or something. I was six months in. I was yeah. six months in, okay. And you, yeah. was luck. Good old days. And you took a tournament now? I tried to go to the Saturday tournament. Oh, okay. no, he won, he won. He no, you yeah, kind of should have won. Yeah, yeah, I, I had a three to one, one chip no, lead. I would have came back. I would have came back. You would have three to one chip I lead? I did chop. Did one you one ICM chip. chop? No. 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 Oh enough. my God, Sturdy, you're such a fish. <laughs> he took the <laughs> trophy. Who cares? Chop chop for RV Phil. Not no pair for Sam. Two good this guy. He offered me a chop. We just took it. No, I offered a three way chop. Two to one. I offered a three way chop. Did you? Okay. Now the other going nowhere. You think so? No, no, no. You is there told any me to yeah, it has both uh, options. I can go for a check race here. Yeah. You finally were like, hey, you would be heads up with like, Maybe not that big a chip lead. Get a chip lead, then you would. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was because of the other person. Yeah, is there any? So Sam takes the catch up real as well. You know what I mean? 
potential uh, block like, option like the uh, on the river when space like, gets like, uh, uh, yeah, 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 like a ring or something, I'll take the money. And like any trophy anywhere else, I'm taking the money. Tries to something by eight seconds. It's tough to put them off because they have also got shot. Looks like he's already preparing some kind yeah, of uh, river bluff. Yeah, on this Probably, on this round, I, I, I don't really like it. I don't see many hands that pulled against this triple barrel. Um, also, maybe he has some like short on value, but uh, uh, like yeah, I see Phil calling here pretty quickly. I was third in chips, but the guy to my direct play is a guest chip leading. And get two reactions. Thousand dollar bet from Sam on the seven of hearts river RV Phil. Still with top pair. So they offered a chop, and everyone's saying yes. I see a chop. And I know, like, the rest of the table. It's not even fucking close. You were very, very much. Oh, nice and four. Nice and four. Four thousand dollar pot. You like the heart from Sam, but the results go in RV fills. You have to play out there and you kind of try to realize your edge. But you're never going to realize your edge in your shoes, right? Which mostly nobody is. Unless you're playing online. So, up taking a shot. so that was like a perfect example. Like they, they wanted to play for the trophy, the and one of the guys said, "Hey, I want to play trophy for, like for heads up the trophy," and none of us gave a shit for the trophy. So he's, he got the trophy. No, so the guy who was chip leading played the guy who was last in chips heads up for the trophy, and the guy last in chips won. Yeah. And you got the trophy, and, and like his pictures everywhere now, yeah. whatever, right? It was Thanks, awesome. Travis. But I was it's like, to do that, by the way. No, but the money was already chopped, right? <laughs> yeah. Be, so they're just be, playing be, just, for the, just for the trophy. Yeah. But like a trophy like that is like whatever, you know? Yeah. It's just a trophy. Any of the other series that I named, I'd probably take that. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a bracelet, though, we're playing. Oh, yeah. I don't we're think playing. they let you chop. Yeah, it's just too too big of a deal. The tournament chopped that wasn't even brought up. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Wolfgang with slow check open. Yeah. Nick, uh, pretty cut that up top. I think he was through, I think, once down. jacks, once queens. Uh, since then, like, not many hands from him. Um, yeah, makes a call there. Uh, VT is also in the mix. Um, yeah, pretty nice spot for Wolfgang. Um, yes, he's just going here for Seabat. Um, Nick has pretty clear fold, and Witty wants to see another card, I guess. Uh, problem is like his uh, ults are not really clean, so even when the tank gets there, uh, uh, like the, uh, there's a one liner with the queen, uh, and the potential jack ten uh, is already straight. So uh, I guess the whole thing is uh, continue continues to bet here and against this VTS is pretty clear forward. This guy's on a heater of a lifetime. No, he's too nice. Also, nice sizing goes for like two shots. And, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I guess VT should So, put given how we got it, it's like four guys. Wolfgang, another nice value E type in, flopping top top, taking down another nice size one and adding to his continued success on the Wednesday night stream. Ben K, German Chris Moneymaker, in the mix with you tonight. And uh, best of luck, Thank best of continued luck to Wolfgang making the trip down to Dallas. We should do a last song for the main event. Hopping in the live stream. This isn't the easiest game in the room, I'll and say. Like so props to anybody that's willing to put the money up to... Uh, like an extra yeah, today it's not that easy. No. Yeah, sometimes there's some spots that make it financially <laughs> viable. That's true. But... Um, that's pretty good. Very good. This yeah, game, know, there's probably good in your end, you know? more uh, then again, that's like, like loose, or there's there's just a lot of good players at this table. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I agree. Or at least at least players that are tough to play against. <laughs> Being good or bad is hard to know without some like sample size, I guess. But uh, things getting interesting. Wolfgang of the open rams three bets from the low jack of sixes. Sturdy with the cool call uh, on the button, and uh, yeah, Wolfgang gets a prize. So we go three way to the pot, uh, to the flop, and uh, yeah, ram is the aggressor. So on the a 7 three, I expect ram to see that in a pretty high frequency with one third. So something like 200, 300, nice sizing. Don't think Sturdy can defend against this, and Wolfgang has also pretty clear fold. 
Gang's kind of straight draw, Chris. Oh, yeah. No problem. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he gets out of the way. Rom taking another one down. Safine's up 55 bucks. He could almost buy a bottle of Camus. Ramus back in the game. Like winning now. Bulbasaur? What did you start with? <laughs> Bulbasaur, Charmander. Okay. Yeah, Charmander. So we're back to Pokemon <laughs> talk live on TCH Live. Mm. Back in Germany, I actually won a Pokemon quiz. So I was in a, a technology store, uh -huh. and uh, like in the gaming. Uh, part of the store so they there was like loud music so I went there and they asked me if I wanted to do a quiz so and I had to name Pokemon so and I was doing the quiz against the girl and she know she knew like three or four so I said okay that's easy <laughs> so and I won a Nintendo Switch <laughs> oh nice I want to switch so bad run good I just can't that is run good I just can't justify it I don't have the time and I think I used it twice since then I have a, like Four months or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things that I'm waiting for my son to get old enough to be like, babe, look, we should. we're going to play it together. <laughs> we gotta, i got to show him how to play Mario Kart. It's yeah. not for me. It's for him. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but right now, it's just I don't have a compelling argument. So Danny's going to rip it and ship it 3,800 with ace-queen. Yeah, Sturdy gets aggressive again, though. So ace-10. Uh, Sturdy hadn't had any pre premiums tonight. No. <laughs> I already won some significant pots. <laughs> yeah. Like, Sam cannot call, and Phil has also pretty clear yeah, forward. 30, pretty sick. Like, uh, Danny collects like $1,200 that money like, with much order. Sam, considering it with the King Jack suited. <laughs> what's what's go what's going on there? <laughs> it's a pretty hand. Suited. And he gets out of it. Come on, Phil. <laughs> Everyone's taking their time. Oh, okay. Take your time. Camera time. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. Danny might be eating his words. Good fold for it. Pretty sick when you can collect us. Like, like when you can figure out it's dirty, it's free betting, very light. Like the two cold calls uh, yeah, are basically that money, and you are half of the ace queen. Pretty nice jam by Danny. Yeah. 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 If there was any doubt, uh, Danny. He's is really it. good at playing poker. Do you, do you yeah. In the cash context or in a tournament, I mean, he's won uh, high or large field multi-day tournaments and also plays uh, high stakes cash. Pretty, pretty good gamer here. He is, he is. So this time, Safine will <laughs> open. How am I something I don't know? got the you suck comment. Get some action. Uh, yeah, be Phil. Back at it. Jiggities. Min click. Min click. <laughs> That's the obvious Phil school. <laughs> Four piece coming? Oh. He takes it back. I was like, bro, with one hand I'm getting cold oh, yeah. for that <laughs> shit. What's going on here? Yeah. What are we doing? I was like, man, man. Yeah. Big one. I don't know. We'll here. Ram is confused. It goes for the tight fold, and Safin can't do anything right, than so calling the tight fold yeah. indeed, Ram. Uh, he's just crunching the numbers real quick. <laughs> oh, that, dude, that was bad so Folding a suited yeah, king so for so Ram hurts a lot. <laughs> well, I kinda like he checks the king high ball. Second, or a pair of tens. Let's see if Phil uh, can get some value there. Like, goes for a quarter like, size bet. One quarter. Yeah, it would have been different. You wanted one. So I think it's a quick call. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Let's see a six. 
Uh, Queen is a scare card. Yes, it uh, goes check check a lot. Sure. No, Phil goes for the fan value. So sick, man. So sick. Do you see the video? Don't see something <laughs> calling you. Someone take a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have the video, don't worry. Just the rubbing in your face. Yeah. Like Interesting block web by, by Phil. <laughs> so <laughs> he really tries to target well, we the 10 here. Obviously, we're recording during the hand. He does, gets paid, so that's why he's the best. Oh, <laughs> he's the best, oh, RV Phil. <laughs> <laughs> like 800 yeah, bucks. Yeah, so yeah. sick, this guy. King Queen High Board gets value on the river. Oh yeah, that place was good. Gets value twice. How a egg. I got good, you need to be I'm taking notes. Your uh, money maker. Dude, what? I yeah. Over, I, I can't remember what we got. I, like I don't remember what you got. Dude, it was really oh, good what I got. Yeah, oh no, I can't remember. He like checks back the flop and then he goes for two small blocks. Oh, okay. When you're off the hand, I'll Gets yeah, paid. Yeah, yeah. That's the standard. What was it? Have you seen Incredible, this guy. It's kind of like a mixture between Cirque and a comedy show. Oh, Does anyone want anything from Hudson House? Mm. Yeah, Hudson House is good. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Kind of the way to do it. Honestly, cash games are going to be way better anyway. Yeah, yeah. Fiend, uh, excuse me, raises to 75 with King Jack. What's Hudson House? It's a chosen one. Decides to uh, flat the small blind. Uh, what do you get? Oh, Hudson House? Yeah. I've had the French chicken. <laughs> Both gang of Spar think we could think, think about yeah. squeezing here, but uh, oh, yeah. calling here makes lots of sense. And Ram gets in there for a very nice six by two tools. Performs very well multi way. So let's see. King High Ward. Oh. I've been had before. Everyone says it's the nuts though. Yeah, nice board for Safine. Uh, Good board for Seabra Tang with small sizing. Uh, don't see Wolfgang folding yet. Folding yet. Guess I will go heads up to the turn. Can we try to? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we already Wait, they're not, they're probably about perfect. We have three quarters of a bottle left. There's the board. Guess it will go check, check a lot. So we're chopping for now. And we're chopping. You the man. Right? So. Yes. You the man. Yeah, yeah, two kings, two nines, and then an ace. <laughs> yeah, give me one. you stare at these graphics for so long, basic comprehension is hard. The 400 flip, the 500 flip was pretty sick. I can't believe two's got there. Check, check. Me too. Chop, chop. No, they didn't get there. They were good from the start. I had two overs. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a slow roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. So what's the rest of the year look like <laughs> for you? Got, well, like, what are your plans for your? Uh, what did you I'm get? saying uh, to chicken. end of May here Everyone in Dallas. Um, then I will do some vacation in Mexico. You know I'll, I'll like, go back too. to Monterey like, for a few months, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, beginning four, of September, yeah. I have to go back the, to the Germany, like one of my friends has his <laughs> wedding, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, then uh, I will stay for a few weeks in Germany, and then I will come back to Dallas. So, so you have a do you have a place in Monterey now? Yeah, like you have a place in Mexico? <laughs> that you, like, no, I will rent an Airbnb. What's the what's the draw? Like why are you going back there versus somewhere else? Um, I'm starting a online coaching project, so okay. I'm going online with my uh, website your, and. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's about private private poker coaching, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. so when, uh, I need to do lots of work for this. So, sure. um, yeah, cool. and uh, yeah, that that will be my vacation this year in Monterey. So working a few months on this, and uh, yeah, also like lots of like, vacation, and then uh, go back to Germany, and then back to Dallas. So a professional poker player takes a vacation by starting a company. <laughs> That's yours. That's your idea of a vacation, a working on work? Yeah. I like yeah. It. For me, it's always like some yeah, kind of mix between like vacation, yeah. traveling, yeah. working. Yeah. So it's, I enjoy playing oh, poker sure and uh, yeah. 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 For, for me, like when I go yeah. playing yeah. poker, it doesn't really feel like going to work. Right. So, um, that's, that's, that's great. It's very close. So no World yeah. Series like aspirations this year? Yeah. Like probably not. Like some of my friends are going. I think about going too, but probably can't make it so i yeah. want to stay like also like i'm allowed to stay like then three months more in the u.s and i guess i prefer staying in dallas than going to vegas you're right right 
Makes sense. Uh, it's like not far from here. I'm not, no big tournament player. Especially if you're like, I mean, if you're truly like a for-profit player and you know that you, you've yeah, got exactly. the, <laughs> the formula the figured out for Dallas. Like in why life, in terms of poker? go to a new place? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I get that. I mean, there is there is plenty of reason to go to Vegas for the oh, World Series, but if you're friends, playing poker to make money <laughs> and find a place that you can yeah. consistently oh, make money, yeah, yeah, your time is worth way more than yeah, it's in like in, in the Vegas. states we say if it ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Why switch it up if, if it's working for you? How do you? Yeah, I I think that's so too. Like, I would like to go to Vegas just for the World Series, but I have like limited time in the U.S. I'm not a big tournament player, so I don't really want to go there and play one month just tournaments. In Vegas, most of the big uh, cash camps are private, so you have to know the guys. Like, and uh, I don't know so many guys there in Vegas. So uh, yeah, here, here in Dallas, I like uh, lots of friends here, so I probably you can play high enough to where it's, uh, yeah, you're not gonna find that many higher games uh, in Vegas. Yeah, I'm very, like very happy when I can play like four or five times a week, 25, 50, or 50, 100. Yeah. So that's like very, very nice. And here it's uh, that game's fun, so like minimum every second day here at DCA. Mm -hmm. So Rom, God, so Rom Hero so calls Nick's $1,300 Hero, uh, excuse me. So Rom Hero calls Nick's thirteen hundred dollar bet on the river with an under pair of threes. Playing poker, I guess. Nick's already reaching for rebuy chips. That, that's true. That, that sucks too when you you know that everyone knows that you've only played two hands in two hours and you you, you choose, like you pick the Robbie to bluff with air on the river and you just get soul red with an underpair like that is the most tilting thing ever it's like you're supposed to know that i'm playing nothing <laughs> for two hours and i'm trying to use my image always tough spot to try to bluff from so i wouldn't yeah. recommend it it's <laughs> one lesson you only have to learn once so we got three-way action And it comes top pair for Wolfgang. Unless Wolf, Wolfgang's out of it. Now I'm confused. Is that the German pronunciation? Wolfgang? Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Wolfgang, yes. Wolfgang. <laughs> pair of queens suck out for Sam. Wolfgang? Wolfgang. 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 I'd like to learn German someday. It's a tough project. Yeah. German language sucks. But it's so complicated. Yeah, right, yeah. How is traveling with like Rampage and stuff? I start learning some Spanish. And uh, I'm like always confused when I'm learning a new language. Like in German, everything is like so complicated, so many variants or mm -hmm. whatever. Like Spanish, or it's, it all makes like way more sense. So it's like very tough like to learn things. Uh, when you know German, learning a different language, well, I've had like problems with that. So uh, Spanish and English are a lot more simple for you. Like, compared to German, the English language makes way more sense. So it's like easier to learn. So, like, like it's intuitive, less than. Like yeah, the grammar is easier, like much easier, and uh, yeah. He's cool. Like if I say, hey, this is he's probably coming for that big one you're playing. A lot of suited hands. Clubs in the door. Vidi. Overs and the club draw. He hit his clubs the last hand. So let's go to two. Two. Phil runs well in these spots. <laughs> Just because, that, like, those are the ones I'd want to play. Yeah. 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 I've heard that's actually a really good stop specifically. That was the one I visited actually before I started my vlog, and it was like. And it comes favorite. Queen of Diamonds, check, yeah. check. Cool. Four. 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 What did I say? He's. When does it stop? When does it stop? Nice answer. Phil drills the four outer. The chosen one. The chosen one, indeed. 
top of my bucket list, though, is like, <laughs> River, 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 Talked to uh, Joe Ingram about that. He lived out there for a little while. Yeah. Joey Ingram. Yeah. Buddy of Wolfgang. PLO Poppy. Yeah. I just had a rugby guy. I had a short that went viral on this year. This has been fooled by Ram. One of them was this like verified rugby player from New Zealand. Still even say finally with a hand. See if he gets some action. Is there any poker? Like, oh, obviously, I'm coming to one of your rugby uh, games. That's a good question. But, like, what's the poker like in New Zealand? Oh, man. We got, me and my mates, we got all the games. And, yeah, my rate on New Zealand is. Doesn't go anywhere. I'm like, I'm going to the home games with you. <laughs> Or if you fill with the Robbie okay, and it comes Ace like King for Sturdy, first premium of the night. Back to flush for Phil. Top two pair. And just the beach and the scene. Yeah. I can't wait till I get out there. Sir, sturdy, man. Sturdy. RV Phil's got a pair in backdoor clubs, so yes. you know he's going nowhere. Yeah. Again, see where he's going nowhere. No club. Uh, I did the mountain version of Sturdy with the check mark. I was a skier in Colorado, yeah. I lived up in Brecon. No, check helps. Oh, check helps. Oh, check helps. So I expect Sturdy to bet a lot on this card. Don't see if they're continuing here. Nice word. Finally, good, uh, good pot for Sturdy. Yeah, Sturdy Dragon. His first pot in a while, it feels like. He's up 60 bucks. Yeah. Had some, uh, had two nice bluffs in the beginning of the stream. Since, um, like, not much. Stirred event, a uh, new dad, kind of like myself. So, at 60 bucks buys you, like, one case of diapers, which is really unfortunate. So one of the issues with Breckenridge is it's getting so crowded, so close to the airport. Yeah. It's it's a nightmare during like uh, vacations. And yeah, especially like when you go during the spring break time. You love listening to rich poker players complain about how uh, how busy their vacation stops are during vacation season, like Breckenridge. <laughs> oh, the crowds, man, at my ski resort. It's just brutal. <laughs> A very relatable conversation because, of course, you find here at TCH Live watching people <laughs> play for <laughs> 10, 20, 50 thousand dollars. Also complaining about the crowds of peasants at their favorite ski resorts. <laughs> yeah, tough times. Tough times indeed. In this economy, <laughs> tough. Four ways. Poker's dead, right? Poker's dead. <laughs> the 8 4 ball looks all right on the King 8 3 board. Although Danny, top pair, and much better. Sam also with uh, second pair. Yeah. For third best. It's fun. It's crazy. If you have a like 35 percent V pick, you. you well, that's the reason why back. we call Phil the chosen one. So <laughs> like, one? here's options. He's money, got plenty yeah. of options. That's right. <laughs> Sam with the two nines. Yeah, that's the next one. Considering his own options. <laughs> nice little yeah. Sam. The first time I went, I didn't know you were supposed to slow roll. I had like two really good chances. Oh, so going nowhere. Phil. Oh. So Palms, $500 and $100 chips and Four, revs up. Four diamonds. <laughs> Boom. <Deuce. laughs> Danny legitimately is like, that deuce could have easily hit RV Phil. Yeah. <laughs> Who's like the main guy in the game? It's, um, Danny's DJ running good today. Yeah. Checks it back. Check, check. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was legitimately concerned. <laughs> that was a heater check for dodge, sure. Dodge some bullets yeah. there. <laughs> and, uh, oftentimes, are we filled with donk in these spots where he wants to set his own price? Awesome. And then DGF plays like 80% of the game. No, check. Danny has a pretty key value, but I guess. How, like how, how should go for a pretty small sizing, oh, targeting like an eight, at the something end of the, like five hundred. So I'm always on the bottom, and I have like. Danny the rarely misses these spots to get a little like extra value right? on well, River. Like He's gonna bet eight fifty. Eight fifty, maybe a little bit too big. So I think, uh, so yeah, so holding, like, holding an eight, maybe six hundred gets snapped. I guess. 
but also we get to see everything. Like I will like, on this specific river when I have a king like of old kicker, like my strategy is like I look at sword and I try to find the hand that could pay me. Like and in this squad, like I will try to target an eight. He's gonna rip it! Boom, Phil. Harvey Phil with a forty three hundred dollar. This guy is so sick. <laughs> he puts Danny all in check raising river with just eight four suited. Has a blocker to the rear. Yeah, and blocker to the yeah. Phil does not have many of these moves sees in his weakness. tool belt. Sees weakness on Danny's check, uh, check back on the turn. And so he's executes right. Executes sets from a strange. Doesn't think he has king, queen, ace, king. So and puts him in a very tough spot. So let's see if uh, so regardless, Danny can figure out this. Regardless of the results, props to RV Phil for putting the pro to the test. That's such a rough spot for Danny. Oh, yeah, because it's like, how is this ever a bluff? Except maybe, well, like, ace-queen of hearts or something, uh, trying to, like, make it happen? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's not easy to like find the river check base <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> like, it's, like, very advanced play by Phil. Like, like, very, very well played. Like, big heart, I love this play. This is... They were talking about how, like, at some point the action like went Cesar, cold. Danny is very cap, like he has never a set, so maybe he could see where so something like pocket fights and gets there. Ace right four, which is blocking. So and yeah, yeah forces Danny to make like a marginal yeah. call. No, like, no, and then yeah, it's yeah. even like. Yeah, pro very on top. Like Holy top call! Range. Great call! What a call wow. by Danny! That's so sick. Monster. What a so read, so read by Danny. This is a soul read indeed wow. from Danny. The King Man. Seven. Wow. This was a great Man. hand from start to finish. So freaking Danny finds a call with the King Seven after RV Phil check raise jams river. I, I love Danny's line. Like he, uh, I like his check back, check back a lot. Like. Phil's check race on the river is super sick, and now Danny decided that uh, he is he's probably yeah he's on top of his range, so he could have maybe ace here pocket fives or ace four, but uh, which like most of his good kings he's continuing to bet on the turn, so his range contains like mainly something like queens, jacks, tens, nines. Maybe 8x, which he bets on the flop, checks back on the turn. So his check back kings on the turn, so his weak king x, which he checks back on the turn, is probably king 7. So that's why he decided to make the hero call with this combination. Very, very sick. Like, nice hand by Danny. That was a really impressive call by Danny Marks on the end. But also props to RV. Like RV Phil, what else are you supposed to do block. other than not many guys find that call? There. Not many guys find that call. Yeah, I think against the rest of the table, often that gets through, and RV Phil knows that. But it sucks when it just doesn't work. Of course, it sucks. I mean, Danny well, is. Well, that hand was sick. They're basically telling it. I miss Ben. Can Danny? Dan's a destroyer. But then he also had some rough sessions, so happy that he's booking or like uh, having maybe a good session. No, I mean like I may say something like. Oh, I see. Like, not necessarily. He might get canceled or something. Yeah, right. Like something like that. So Ram was a pretty standard open suited ace. Sam with a small blind flat. Thanks, buddy. It was a lot of fun, actually. It was, uh... I told him I'll do it anytime. <laughs> and still have some cash with him. So, like, you... Came to play. Uh, <laughs> I think money's in there. Moneymaker. Yeah, he's really, he's yeah. really good at it. Uh, and he doesn't want to Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving him props. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you're repaid. <laughs> Alright, screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Ace King Queen board. Um, oh wow, top here in the Royal draw. <laughs> and the Royal comes in. Wow, Sam. We saw it all today, man. <laughs> We've seen it all today. Flush on the board and Sam 
just Royal. Like, do, it's not, no, it doesn't pay attention. Like, Royal, Royal Flush, Royal, Royal Flush. Flush. <laughs> Royal Flush wins 200 bucks. Yeah. Pay him. What a turn card. Pretty good turn, yes. I haven't seen many two card Royal Flushes on this stream. How do you do it? Now Wolfgang getting some uh, B roll on the, the cell phone. Call pair of threes, hold second dot flush. Stud. And that was about the most typical American treatment you could receive, right? Like you're giving the pro American his props in front of all these people, and he's like, this guy can't even speak English. <laughs> yeah, right? Golly, the nerve of this guy. Yeah. Danny. I will see him later at the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, he's got two hours of data that he doesn't have, and now you're going to put the punish him on him. Punish him for that. That's right. <laughs> Is there, uh, Sam, is there I can imagine what the other one is. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. probably a Wolfgang cool open, right? Yeah, yeah. Wolfgang yeah. open. Yeah. Yeah. Queens and tens for Nick. Check. Can I get one as well? Thank you. Check. Check over to Dirty Sturdy. Was all Sturdy open myself? Buck and a quarter. Could be Wolfgang in the straddle. Yeah. So, yeah. David. See where Nick is going nowhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Pretty nice hand uh, to go for a check race. Ooh, well, Pikachu. Let's go. Done folding. No more. No more folding. Enough, enough for the folding. Yeah, What's it all pretty well. aggressive? Oh, not much to do for sturdy. Or thinking it through. <laughs> Don't know what to expect from sturdy today. Uh, yeah. Uh, something's in the water with sturdy. And yeah. he uh, sides against it. Correctly lays it down. And give him one. <laughs> give him one. And Nick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Only down 3K. Plenty of poker to remain. We're rounding the first two hours of the live stream. It's been Ben K and the German Moneymaker with you. Thank you for tuning in to TCH Live, for hitting the like button, subscribing to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to German Moneymaker's YouTube channel. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What's your Pokers. handle? German Moneymaker? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Putting out some poker content, some coaching content? Uh, not in the last weeks, uh, but uh, I'm going to continue with this when I'm back in Mexico. Like, I will upload like some uh, highlights of my streams I played, so and then explain the hands I played. Nice. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much pro YouTube creating it's the only like yeah i don't know it's the best way to get paid a lot of the other platforms it's really hard to get paid yeah unless you do merch or you do a course or something youtube if you just put out good content that grows you're gonna get paid that's what wolfgang's doing so a lot of the other yeah i already talked to him I, we will go for lunch the next day so i have some questions about uh, yeah his YouTube stuff oh nice like, yeah, interesting guy i played already a few times with him that's cool yeah you kind of have to balance between beating him too bad and yeah, also, uh, my idea was go to lunch soon, so, so, get <laughs> so you get all his, his tips, and then you go <laughs> pop him on the uh, on the felt. No That's the idea. Eight deuce four, Wolfgang second nut, no pair. We fill plenty of backdoor outs. A nine club, a seven. Uh oh. Interesting that Phil decides against stealing this card, so could uh, try to pull out lots of ace high. So I see Wolfgang uh, checking back here a lot. He decides to go for a very thin value bet. Checking back flop, betting there. Hmm. Interesting what he tries to represent. Like the 7 is a much better card for Avi <laughs> Phil. And Phil is going nowhere. So let's see how Phil decides to play reverse. King. Where he doesn't improve. If he decides to lead this river. Like when Wolfgang can uh, can have ace queen, he can have also all the ace kings. So maybe that's the river where Phil just check holds. Or is he going for it? He's going for it. Uh, 
Ah, that's a weird line. I'm not even sure what he tries to represent now. Like the king, but which king does he have? Unfortunately, RB Phil had to show down that, well, the 8-4 bluff. It's, I think... Tough to find a call for Wolfgang. Yeah, tough to find a call, but also RB Phil maybe should find an opportunity to change gears a bit. Well, Phil can have lots of... Uh, it's the fold. King of clubs. Maybe maybe like some kind of king high flush draw where he then decides to bet big on the river. Wow, the doors. Or if you fill with a 14k stack, only down 2,500. Danny leading the pack up 5,600. Feedy still working his way up from the bottom. No, minus 3,700. Uh, Tulsa? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you finish in that one? 30, like 31st. Uh, that's fun though, right? When you yeah, I mean, start I, saying I, the end of it. Man, I, I learned a, just another good lesson. Like, it's kind of my like, enjoy playing tournaments because of the lessons you learn. Like, it's, it's weird. It's like each stage is so different in the strategy you need to It's hard apply. to discipline myself. Like, I don't know how to do it yet, but. So VT open with the 6-3 from the bottom. You're, you're Gets caught on Phil. Yeah, Ram is also not you going anywhere. Every day, so. I agree. Interesting that really he has, are. like, uh, that he yeah, so, decides I mean, to open that loose from the bottom. So like, with guys like Phil and Ram behind. So uh, even Wolfgang, pretty solid player. So, uh... <laughs> I don't know, my approach would be a little bit tighter to have like a more solid range when I play against uh, this kind of opponents. Like, obviously, he has a different idea. So Ram, bottom two, decides to leave. Um, yeah, there are three way, pretty interesting. I think like my standard play would be here checking a lot and going around for the check race. Flush comes in and uh, Ram decides to check it back. Right, it's, a, it's a different vibe from this for sure. Phil has showed on value, very scary board. <sighs> and yeah, Ram goes for a very thin value bet. So true. Ah, very small bet. Doesn't look like a bluff at all. Let's see if Phil can find the fold. It's just so hard for him to have a bluff. Right, yeah, versus sizing, like, going, like yeah. I don't think Ram ever. Lost. Even Rom's got to laugh at that hand. Seven <laughs> fours for value. <laughs> nice end, Rom. That's it, Rom. Bye, Christy. Thanks, Christy. Man, Danny. Time flies yeah, when you're having fun. Fast two hours indeed. Sam? New dealer coming in. For the oh, yeah. Some okay. type of flip or All right, let's bomb pot flip. happening. $100 in the middle from each player. Two hundred. Right, we really need to bust somebody out on this table so you can get in the mix over there, bro. Yeah. Gosh, your your right, EV no is no just no dwindling no by the hour <laughs> sitting in this commentary <laughs> booth. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing study with you. you. That's right. That's right. So maybe it's a long term plus EV. Pick up some reads and then I go there and then. That's right. Yeah, you guys can't see, but we're uh, circling with uh, highlighters and making notes on the screen about uh, live tells. <laughs> We're experts now at catching live tells. I guess. I'm gonna play four cards, two boards, all the fun you want. Four cards, one board. Four cards, one board. Pot limit Omaha flip. Well, it's not even a. What do you even call it? It's not a pot limit Omaha flip. It's just an Omaha flip. Yeah. Omaha regular. Who's winning the flip? <laughs> Wolfgang's run, running pretty well. I, I'll go. I'll go. Wolfgang chop the first one with Danny. Yeah, then I take Phil. Gosh, yeah, Phil's a good bet every time. Phil has that horseshoe yeah. all the way up in there. He just lost, uh, lost the hand, so I guess he will win the flip. And now what do you think he's going at? Yeah, no big deal. The doors are locked. I'm gonna remember this, David. They're locked. Luckiest player to win. Last hand there were two. Yeah. Okay. I grabbed the second. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay
Oh, no, no, you're covering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. well, no, I'm play. just saying, uh, I didn't know if you guys wanted to play that. Okay. And that's a good the fun flippy oh, over. I, like that. Four. Four. I don't like that. Wait, that I that's okay. I have actually. two pair. That's okay. Good. That's your good too. This part of the night always oh, gives me a seizure. Someone has a flush. Yeah, Harvey Phil. Oh, Wait, why are there two queens of clubs? That's, like, that's, clubs. Like, that's an issue. Yeah. I'm free rolling. That's an issue, yeah. That's a I think that's a dead hand. What do you need? You need a six spot. Give a jack. There you go. King? No good. Ship the biscuits, David. Safina. I almost said Safina. So Sam, I what does he have? Yeah. Well, Sam's got his set of tens if the board's correct. I think we should look into this Queen of Clubs issue. If anyone out there is listening, I don't, I don't love seeing two queens of clubs. It's a nice card. It is a nice card. That's probably why we've seen so many queens of clubs. No, I started playing when I was 18. Do you know if, if there's any validity to the story? You, have you played with Holiday, haven't you? Has she really only been playing like a year or something, 18 months? Somebody yeah, told that's, me. that's what she told us. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think she plays very slow. How, and yeah, she does. I, well, I mean, I've watched her for hours on the stream and called several of the streams. Like, she's she's really good. I just can't even do the math of how you get to that point in a year and a half. Yeah. Playing it's, I mean, she's played all the streams across the country, pretty high stakes. It's just, it's really hard to do that, I guess, unless you're just starting with a mega bankroll. Yeah. Like, uh, what I know is she, she's friends with uh, the West Day, the Fest. At, uh, oh yeah, so crypto like, bazillionaire. I guess I play like a uh, lot in private games. So mm -hmm. like when the when these guys play, they don't play for fifty dollars. So, right, <laughs> right. So then you are like pretty pretty soon in this kind of stakes. So and when you're fun and uh, improve a little bit your game, so then like next steps like already like, yeah, the bankroll or whatever. The bankroll goes up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's really good. Very quiet. Yeah, so, like very solid. Like also has like some some nice bluffs. Mm -hmm. So not easy to play against. Hundred percent. It'd be crazy to play against a guy like Wesley, <laughs> who just has like unlimited funds and no fear. Yeah, <laughs> not that easy. So Nick of the Nut Flash draw. That's five hundred. Adds a wheel draw. Yeah. Plays against the chosen one. Like who's betting into? Him? I put in a call and it comes perfect for the wheel. Perfect for the wheel. Check. Instant King. check and King check King. check. Great. I think that's the spot where you gotta put a little. You gotta set your price in the river when you just hit your card. I don't know the theory behind it, but you just see that go check check so often that it just sucks to go hit your card and just be dependent on your opponent. What do you get from All right, listen, Travis, let's pay you value. Yeah. If I get all that from David, Travis, I will give you. $400. Sam up $30. be Coleman asks, how's Wolfgang doing? Up 3000 Pretty good night, I must say. Pretty nice time in the beginning of the stream. Yeah, Kings versus Queens. This is crazy. They want a big pot against PT. Oh, got it, yeah. They get into a hand, and Chris goes, you stack J uh, yeah. So you, just, uh, you stack Dave, I'll give you one a hundred and one dollars. <laughs> they all if they end up getting it in. Oh my god. David won, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, me too. So, I don't know your and, name, but... Uh, Wolfgang from the bottom of the uh, ice and suit. Wolf. Wolf. Pretty yeah, standard here, uh, three-bet. I have two boys. What is it, two and a quarter? That's me, I'm a... Yeah. Don't worry, David. I protect you, dude. Right, Protection. And Safin with a cool call from the lines. May the worst hand win. Ship the money now. Ship it now. Check. Check. So open ender for uh, VT, middle pair for the Fiend, goes check through. Right. Three checks. Check. check. Two quick checks. Uh, I guess uh, Wolfgang has some short on value here. What's that? Checks it back. Check. 
oh, yeah, with uh, oh, yeah. everybody up to now. Yeah, it so now the question is, like somebody, some if somebody wants to turn a uh, pair into a bluff, if not, uh, uh, Wolfgang just and wins. Really good action too, but most of the time, nice hand. A lot like more three, four bet has yeah. the for the six, I, would say. I told you I had the worst hand. I, I just have a lot of fun Shit, with this crew. This is like my favorite Thank game. Thank you very much. Sure. Appreciate it. I hope you're having a good time. I was saying for diesels at auction, you do eat that stuff, it's still pretty high. It probably plays like a little yeah. smaller, but you know, it's, I don't still do like, it's still, still pretty big. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. got a friend, that's all he does. You know? yeah. well, did I, you have fun on the oh, Tuesday? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's it's right. impossible to do it. Yeah, you guys all did pretty well, right? He just told me that. He's a problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Someone, uh, what's that guy saying? Someone hosted the party or whatever? Uh, they did. They it just became a 25, in, 50, 100. So for your, for your Mexico yeah. vacations, do you yeah. usually, yeah. I know you said you do some work, but do you usually like to take it easy or do you do a bunch of like activities that you go? see the sites and do the things or do you uh, like yeah. just chill uh, we, we like, like that's what I like uh, like the most like like checking out the city a little bit like getting a feeling for the city um, yeah I, I did this like last year when I, there I was here with uh, Daniel and two friends from uh, Germany like Daniel was playing also a lot to what he said uh, we went to <laughs> Costa Rica um, yeah it was, was also a cool trip there we did like a road trip checked out first out uh, first uh, um, the East Coast and the West Coast, and uh, yeah, it was, it was like a very cool trip. Yeah. So and uh, Mexico pretty similar. So uh, when I went the first time there to Monterrey, I didn't know anybody. So uh, just like tried to build like a new network. So That's cool. Played some some poker and things, you know, but like not much. So uh, yeah, found some new friends and uh, yeah, I really liked the city a lot. It's like in the middle of the mountains and uh, yeah, pretty cool when you want to do some work and uh, yeah. Like and mainly I like after three months poker and that was um, uh, pretty <laughs> dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, after that, yeah. Like you get, you're getting a lot of poker in in a three month yeah. 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 every day. I mean, are you playing seven days a week for the most part? Yeah, like minimum six. So yeah, that's wild. Yeah, but she's like. I mean, and why wouldn't you? Like, if you know that you've only got three months, you got to put your time in. Just a sprint, I'm assuming. Yeah. Sure. Do you prefer it that way, or it's just necessity since the limited the amount of time that you can stay? Yeah, like I don't really have a choice. So, uh, but I, I, some kind of like it. So I, I'm always like, I always like some uh, project works, some uh -huh. project, and I see it like so. Yeah, Chris, now it's three months time. I t uh, like set myself a goal and. Uh, yeah, so I say like I want to play, I don't know, it's three months, like 700, 800 hours, mm -hmm. so and then I play this and then I'm like really happy with my project, so and uh, after that like having free time and uh, focusing on things that are like outside of poker, so and uh, yeah. That's a pretty nice schedule. Yeah, and like the benefit of, of having a three month poker stretch where you I can mean, focus fully on poker. Though. Yeah, you can focus, but and you're also making a couple million dollars each time like with so how good you run. Yeah. So, like, that's nice to <laughs> go on vacation a couple so million dollars like richer. Game. Yeah. Um, yeah that's really nice. Oh, yeah. What's up, Kim? How are you? <laughs> Kimmy Stone in the chat. In total end boss of the <laughs> Wednesday night game. Another player I'm happy to know as a person, but not happy to play against on the felt. Very good poker player in her own right. Nick with the two threes facing a decision from Danny, who's bluffing with the KQ high. Nick in the tank. The under pair. And it gets a fold. Yeah, that's a goal. Cool. <laughs> I think Danny will continue exploiting that right, spot yeah, no until uh, like Nick this pushes action, back out. Like action you just did, no more. No more. I've seen enough. Just give me ace four. Just give it to me. Give me ace four space. That's pretty cool, though, to be able to travel the world and be able to meet new friends without, like, one introduction. 
No, we check the math on it. It's Some okay. people are terrified of that. I like doing the same. Like I, 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 I like to meet new people. Listen, and I'll do it. Yeah, I, uh, let's like, do this. The, like when I went the odds. first time to Vegas, I'll, like, we'll true odds, like, I was right? well, I like six years ago. Like, I was so nervous. Like, I planned everything. Nervous, like already one checked one out. Like yeah, where's my Airbnb? <laughs> oh, when I, how, okay. how do I get back to the airport or whatever? And like I'm not traveling since like four years, like nonstop. Yeah. So and. At some point, you get very relaxed. Like yeah, you know, like flexible. It's like whatever. Really, like when you when you come uh, somewhere, when you have a problem, you will yeah. solve it somehow. Right. So there's always a solution. And uh, yeah, I got like. It also helps to know three languages. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what's the, like? I got like way more open-minded, way more relaxed. Like um, communicating to like guys from different cultures. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Like all this traveling helped me so much. So, yeah, that's cool. So you've grown a lot. Yeah, a lot. Check. Check. What's up, Hayden? <laughs> <All the laughs> Almost like going out in the world and experiencing things helps you grow as a person. 100%. It's a nice little balance you've been able to strike. You know, the three months grind, playing nothing but poker, but then having some time to go experience the world and like take advantage of the flexibility that playing poker as a profession gives you. A lot of people get to do that. Yeah, poker is like for sure some upside. Like and this uh, traveling and getting to new, new like lots of interesting people is for sure one of the upsides. And then comes tax time, which is the downside, depending on where you're from. Exactly. I can't fathom doing my taxes as a poker player. Only slightly, only slightly. Well, maybe it'd be easy because mine would just all be losses, so I would owe zero in taxes. It makes it easier. <laughs> You're actually getting a huge you, refund. You, you sim because simplified that good. <laughs> all, you did, all you did was lose for the entire year, so I think you're good. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> the only money you owe is the CPA fee. Can you tell our kid is asleep? We are able to stream, stream chat. <laughs> Dirty sturdy with a premium. Two jacks. To one That's it. Oh, yeah. Very good school. What did you study? Uh, Arby fills in there with the King 5. Get some action from Arby. Uh, QQ7. Check that core. Like <laughs> 75, good enough. 75, good enough. Take it down for sturdy. So do you ever um, foresee yourself, like, uh, and I don't know how it all works internationally, but like, yeah. Staying put for a while, like saying, like, all right, this is my, I'm gonna play poker professionally, but I'm gonna stay put here, or like move to Macau, or move to freaking, I'll move to Vegas, like or get a job or something like where you get the visa for the long term. I, I, I said this already in Germany to some friends, so like, uh, so you know, at some point you really want to have like your own house, your apartment. So like, now I'm just going from Airbnb to a hotel, to Airbnb hotel, or yeah. whatever. I get told after a while. Or staying, staying with friends. So uh, at the moment, I'm very lucky that I, yeah, I'm staying there with uh, Kim and Hayden. So oh, you stay at their house? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's they cool. rent me a room, so it's like, super nice. And uh, so what I'm like, there's like no real place that I would call home. So like yeah. probably like uh, the house of my parents. But, like, I can stay there for like three days, and after that I go crazy. So, like I don't really have like uh, like a place that I would call like yeah, that's that's my home or my base. Right. So I think like at some point I really would like to have like an apartment or something. Sure. Or like my car. Well, I, like, I have a car in Germany, but like here in Dallas, it's also nice to like, just to have, your have, own have something. <laughs> <laughs> I, told, I totally get it. I, it is hard it to not. I can't stand like being in a place and not being able to drive myself. Even though, know, like, there's plenty of options for transportation. But I, I like being able to drive myself. And it's, it is nice having a home to come home to. But it, it's like all a trade off. Where it's like 100%. Having a home has got its own set of unending projects and costs and stuff. I would say, like, the upside of my lifestyle at the moment is like, that's just like unlimited freedom. So I can go all the time, everywhere, wherever I want. And mm -hmm. I can like do whatever I want there. Yeah. So and Which is uh, cool. but the other lifestyle gives you like more kind like more safety. So when you have like an apartment, so when you have like a regular job, you have like monthly income. So and, like all the stuff, like all the small benefits so, and uh, yeah, at some point I would like to yeah, change it a little bit so that you have like more safety, like maybe a house or something and uh, regular income. So like not be dependent on playing poker and uh, yeah. So at, at some point I will change this for sure. Yeah, absolutely.
<laughs> that is good. You keep the money here too. <laughs> so interesting bot. So Ram calls his three web pre flop. Um, Safin's C bats on the A side flop uh, with a big sizing Ram calls. And uh, so let's see if. Ram can find support on the river. Pretty sure Safina is going for another big bat here. Nice clean run out for the Ace King. Is that you? Were you knocking? Oh. Wow, seat open. Okay, okay. Thanks, Chris. Uh, duty calls. Okay. Now to make some real money. I'm going to try. Okay, thanks for having me here. Um, uh, I jump into the game. All right, good luck, buddy. Good to see, see you. Now we get to eviscerate Chris Moneymaker's game live for the next hour and a half. We'll see if he uh, can back up all that talk that he just. Nice hand. Ooh, the show was coming. <laughs> yeah. I saw it. From the corner of my eye, there was a shove on the way. That's the only option. And I was already thinking, what the fuck do I do? I was like, oh, shove, shove, shove. Let's see. 6,000 more? I wonder what right, I'm going to do. 34% C2. 29, 34. So you're saying you didn't have one. 29, 34. No, I didn't have the nuts. See you, man. Far from the nuts. All right. That was German Moneymaker in the mix. Oh. Last two and a half hours. The pain. 18. What? Smart freaking guy. 18, 18. 18. Oh, horrendous. Come on. Are you jumping in? Is this Valerie? Wow, ahead. special tree. I was not expecting this. What? 27 and 6. Oh, my. I'm going to be paid Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the first. 21 and 9. 21? Yeah, buddy. What about 8? What was it? The Sorry. queen boss of them all, Mallory, in the booth. What's up, Mallory? <laughs> Just skipped it. <laughs> Going all right. What We've. Is uh, what does David have? Twenty-seven. It's happening. What's going on with you? Uh, <laughs> you playing some poker or what? Yeah, I was playing a one-two, watching the stream going on, and before I I left, I. Let my table know that they should tune in and like and comment. And if not, my feelings are just going to be hurt. And <laughs> that's on them. That's on them. Did you get them for a few hundo? I, I might be even. Uh, I sat down at the table and there was a big stack. I mean, for for one two here, you can buy in for 500 and he might have had 2,000. Wow. And then uh, shortly after, he bounced. Sorry, got all Check. 2,000 at 1-2 is pretty nice. Yeah. Unless you're stuck 5, yeah, which could also be a reality. The table kind of died three. down after he left. Uh, he put me all in on my first hand. I can't give you guys any ideas of how I play. Mm. But it was a chop. <laughs> so we... Uh, these guys have been going at it. It's yeah, been fun watching. They have. And Danny made a, a really great call earlier. And the game's just now heating up. Oh, my gosh. I'm behind, like, 20 minutes on the live stream, which means I'm behind 35 minutes. Uh, so I, ha I haven't seen the hero call yet, but oh, I've heard about it. Oh. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're going to have to watch it I'm in your so own time now. I'm so suspense. Oh. That really affects the game. Look at this, Safine. Yeah. Come on, Safine. Safine, yes. uh, pretty nice size stack. Nick has had trouble getting anything going tonight after breaking off his open ender. What a flop. What a flop He's got to take a stab at it, and right? And it just goes banana, banana on turn and river. Nick got hero called earlier with a big bluff with the Robbie. So we'll see if Nick has got another one in him. It's pretty, pretty tough. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> that was one of them. Uh... Rom snapped him off with you guys got an underpair. Uh, good and Nick. check. Good yeah, check. I think that wasn't getting through. 
You guys are going to get Drummer polarized commentators tonight. You got a, you got the GTO <laughs> master, like you got the pro, Chris, Chris, moneymaker in here. And then after me, you're just like, oh, I got a good feeling about this. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming for sure. No, it's, it's coming. No, Mallory, the poker brain. The poker socialite more than <laughs> You do do a good job of, uh, I mean, you have to wrangle the cats a bit to get this game going. Oh, my God. You'll you'll hear me out here in a minute try to convince this whole entire table to come play on Tuesday. I'm like, you guys can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it escalates to a Tuesday night level uh, stake anyway. Yeah. You put the 50 and the 100 on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I walked right by this one because I saw a sturdy helicopter, like, bold helicopter, that one. Wow. And I'm coming up. <laughs> Mallory singing to the past Look at this. Queens and Queens. That's oh, not the first time no. we've seen this tonight. Queens v. Queens, indeed. I'm like actually embarrassed. This is so brutal for Nick, thinking that he's finally got a real hand, three betting it, and he's at least chopping the Sam right now. Yeah. Rom calls in between the two nines. If only Rom knew how live he was. <laughs> right, right, yeah. I haven't had it yet. I've just been fucking. I've been making some bad plays too, so let's keep that so, up. So, uh, Sam facing a uh, three bet and a call. <laughs> He's got some options. A 7K stack. He knows Nick. He's kind of got an awkward stack. Kind of limits his ability to make some moves because if he makes it, I don't know, make it 1800. Yeah, race to 2200. Nick basically only has one move now, I think. He could fold, I guess, but the call feels. Uh, Feels uncomfortable. A rip feels like. I don't know. It feels like you can only rip it or fold. This is not. This is a, a spot that, in my mind, I think I love, but it just is painful. Like, what do you do? I know. Three bet, this four bet. Four, four bets? Nobody four bets. Right. I mean, typically, nobody four bets. But in this game, yeah. I mean, and uh, gets a fold out of Nick. And especially so with Rom flatting. Pretty ideal result so far with Sam. And now $1,600 raise back to Rom. And when I say nobody four bets, nobody four bets without some sort of nuts. Let's see like an all club run out here. Oh, big Make it interesting. Oh my gosh. You guys call these flops all the time. I thought maybe I could do it. <laughs> you, know, you need to be a little more experienced uh, than that, Mallory. It takes hundreds and hundreds of incorrect oh calls gosh. for those to work out. Six jack five flop. Sam ahead. Rom doesn't hate it, probably. No. It feels like a dry enough board. Uh, Sam Sam doesn't four bet without a pair, without I wouldn't even put him on Ace King. Oh, a little stretch. Again, this is this is feeling poker, guys. This Heck is yeah, it. my favorite kind. <laughs> oh, let's go, Rom. Oh, Rom's gonna rip it for five Sam instant yeah. call. We've got a fourteen K Oh my pot. gosh. Biggest pot of the night, King of Hearts on turn, dead <gasps> to a nine, and there are no nines oh. remaining in the deck. One time, Max Payne. One time. And look at Nick's face. Oh. He folded the same hand. I mean, you don't blame him, uh, I think, given his stack size facing a four bet. It's like, okay. But, uh, man, what a nice. I don't know. Maybe I rip it. You've got 3.8 behind on an eight. It's 2,000 more. Especially if you haven't been able to get much going tonight. I, I kind of like a rip there as well. But uh, Sam. Elated Max in, his, in his own way to win seventy seven hundred US dollars. And look at you sitting down, it's the biggest pot of the night. Jeez Louise, is it the biggest pot of the night? That's right. Let's go. So far. What Sam. a fun game poker is. <laughs> I mean not for Rom right now. Not for Rom or Nick. But when you're the recipient of a uh, what feels like a full double. 
I'm still Sam, <laughs> yeah, leading the way, uh, up 7,700. That that I mean, was a that blessing. Pot. That was a blessing. Right. Rom now. Danny Wolfgang up 3.4. Safine up 2. I saw it? earlier Joel Safine was up $5, and I mm -hmm. screenshot it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to troll him later. Oh, my God, get that 5 bucks. Let's go. What a sick score. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rom, let's go. Time to get out of the hole. Rom, always good for putting on a show and... Now he's stuck, and so might, he might you press did, a little bit. Win. Let's see. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, Danny, but you did not. I'm the hero of my own story. He's got a good feeling about that queen. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Sam, really yeah, trying to, to make two pots in a row. VD not playing the seven deuce game, is going to three bet <gasps> to 500. Seven Dewey with the speech and everything. I wish we were playing the seven deuce game. Guys, what, what table games should we get going? I've been toying with the idea. I've seen. We used to do so many, and now everybody's been. Let's do it. We've done seven deuce. We've done stand up at one point. Well, so there's, the, there's a variation of the stand up game where you don't actually stand up. Each player has like a, 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 a button in front of you. Uh huh. I like I've seen it. that, yeah. <laughs> There's less of a physical component, though. I guess you, if you want to make them. It's got to be worth it to go. Yeah, that. The knit game. It is the knit <laughs> game. Aptly named. I see that we have. Well, I can't release too many secrets, I guess. But we might have up our sleeves coming up. Hopefully, crossing fingers. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, tune in next week, guys. It's going to get wild. It's going to get wild. <laughs> VD after the three bet bluff of seven deuce has got the two tens. No one's going through. Oh, RV Phil. Knowing the chosen one, RV Phil's got the ladies behind. Good luck with your deuce seven, Phil. I've seen queens so much. There was a night that JD was playing and he got dealt pocket queens like five times maybe. He runs better than most in all scenarios. He cleaned up last night. Did he? I didn't watch last night. I think at the end of the stream he was up. Over maybe over forty, over forty thousand. He had uh, he had quads, and you know, got ma max value on that of one. Of course, wow. And so this is a big raise. Uh, maybe three bed, four bets from RG bed. Phil. Yeah, Sam. Now with the King Jack, has got a four. Oh my goodness. Oh my God! And they're nine k effective. Let's keep it going. Only thirty two fifty. Come on. See, I, I hear it's you want to pick your opponent, and you want to pick the opponent that you don't mind losing chips to because, you know, you'll have an opportunity to give it back. So maybe in David, David's mind, he's thinking, in Viddy's mind, he's thinking that, well, you know, later down the road, maybe I'll, I'll have a chance to get him back. Spot, yeah. <laughs> or maybe he thinks he's good with his 10s. What could RV Phil have? RV Phil would do this with Ace. -King. Yeah, RV Phil check raised, uh, check raised shoved River versus Danny earlier with uh, eight four. What happens when you don't think through I think he had to show that hand down, so it's probably playing into Vidi's mind. But tens, oh man, doesn't feel great to call off her. I got to think, how many times does Phil oh, he does three call. bet? Let's go. Big pot yeah, coming. 7,500 in the middle. Oh, my gosh. It matters. Check in the dark. Check in the dark. Power check. 655. Five. Oh, this might be Broke City value town for RV Phil. 7,500 in the pot. Oh, and it goes check, check. Yikes. Now both players with a boat. Oh, my gosh. There's a turn. David doesn't even want to look. He's not even looking. <laughs> so VD checks, turn once again. Make your hand, bet your hand. RV Phil, got to put something out there. Oh, baby, make him pay. vidy has got 7.7 .7 behind. This, I don't know. This might Phil. give Vidi a chance to get away from it. I mean, this is very expensive. Phil bets pot all in. In a four bet pot. I mean, what is RV? I guess I have to, right? <laughs> Let me check when the food's arriving. Oh, yeah. You know, having food there to comfort you after a big decision, win or lose, is always plus EV in my books. <laughs> Just <laughs> if that says anything about. Oh, oh he calls. Dang. This is the, 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 now the biggest pot of the night. 23,000 in the middle, dead to 110, and it comes nine. Oh, David. Oh, David. Thanks. 
that one hurts. Ship it to Phil. Like Phil has been running so, so sun run. I mean, he was crushing last week when I was Oh, my gosh. And, uh, there's German Moneymaker's seat open right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to give away any spoilers with this hand. <laughs> like, I knew whose seat I had to fill. <laughs> and then I walked up, and I'm like, who? Like, who's got the chips? Like, who's got all the David's chips? And I look at Phil, who's got, like, a stack of blue chips. <laughs> And I'm just, oh. He has been on such a heater. I think he made one like 40 when I commented on the Wednesday night game last week. This is crazy. He's up 7K too. And uh, looks like Vidi's going to call it a night after. We got someone that matches his. I think maybe he lost 10,000 or so. Gosh, he, he ran into it early on too. Mm -hmm. Kings versus, was it Kings versus Queens or? Mm -hmm. Versus Wolfgang, yeah. Queens, again. Yeah, pretty brutal. Fun hands to watch, though. I oh, mean, my gosh. Within six hands, you've developed yeah. our two largest pots <laughs> of the night. So props to you, Mallory. Yeah, of course. Good vibes. <laughs> Good vibes. Sam with two sixes, wasting no time. Limping for a quarter. And Phil, why not? 24K in a stack. Hey, I like Jack Click Seven suited. <laughs> I like Jack Seven suited. Super disguised when you <laughs> When you hit it, yes. No. That's true. When the, the 10 9 8 of clubs comes. And he's going to raise it to 250 with Ace King. Making people get serious, but we're still four ways. What do they call this? Texas Heads Up? Texas Heads Up. That's oh right. Oh, my gosh. Let's see some. And it comes Broadway situation. Top oh. Top for Danny. Pair for RB Phil. Sam's got a backdoor flush, the only one with a spade. It's going to be hard for Sam to continue on a board that's no, no, no. so intimidating. Are we Phil with a pair? He likes making a pair. And he's playing with house money as it is, and it comes Ooh. queen. This might give Danny pause in that Darby Phil maybe has more of these queens. What a river card. There's more. Yeah. Quality. Top it, two it, for It Danny. is very nice. It's heavy. It is. Four liner to a straight. Front door spades come in. Danny unblocks spades. RB Phil tried a big move on River versus Danny a few hands ago. Like a royal flush? I don't have a royal flush. Maybe that's a quarter pot. Let's get in there. I don't know. 525. Yeah, feels like a fold. decent good price. Fold. And has a good fold. Oh. Been watching Danny value bet all of these yeah, <laughs> his he's good. hands tonight. He bet 10% earlier. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And got, and the got fold. a fold. <laughs> yeah. I lose my money in this game. Yes, 100%. <laughs> That's the worst. I don't know how to play. When you get in a spot where you just have to shut up. 10% got the fold. I don't know. I've been talking to these players. You know, I get uh, new players that come up and want to play and check it out. And I ask a little bit of information about them. What do they do? And um, what their VPIP is. <laughs> <laughs> As if it's like a documented thing. I mean, I like to lean more to towards uh, late teens, <laughs> early 20s. For the, yeah, anybody that says, oh, yeah, I like to average between like 60 and 70. You're like, you're hired. When can you start? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It is a much better show for us at home than a table full of 15 percenters. Ugh. It can be pretty brutal at times. Three way action, the nine deuce balls in there, and flops a flush draw. Sam, two two diamonds. Having a pretty good night for himself, trying to play his rush. That's seventy five, and Easy that gets money. it done. Nine deuce is the nuts. Play your rush. I've seen nine. Well, I haven't seen. I've heard about nine deuce suited. Uh, Taking down ace pair of aces with a king or trip aces with a king kicker. Yikes! Like it was. Those hurt. Those are the ones that hurt when you're on the receiving end. Ooh, it was like ace, ace, something flopped two hearts, and then the river was the ace of hearts. Just oh, woof. No. Yeah, and on paper, in theory, like I welcome the action from the nine dudes, but when you receive it, it's Ooh. like, oh man, I am not feeling good feelings towards this person. Wolfgang, relatively quiet the last hour or so. Ace-three suited is good enough. 
to 75. Rom, who's been not easy oh, on Wolfgang at all on his left. Rom gets Just a nice closer. hand, ace 10. Yeah, that's a nice oh, hand. Good. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. You need to take two shots. I agree. Oh yeah, drinking is mandatory. At yeah, now that the yeah, vodka's flowing and drink. the Camus is flowing a little yeah. more, the uh, the game is definitely <laughs> opened up. <laughs> Straight draw for Sam. Second pair for Rob. Checks around, get a deuce. We have That's ooh, a poker card. Wolfgang. He's got some diamonds. Ooh, straight flush draw. Steel wheel draw for sure. Buck and a quarter. My wow. mouth would be watering, even though I didn't really have anything yet. I'm just be this so This feels happy. like a value hand. This <laughs> feels like such a good I can't hand. lose. <laughs> I can't lose this hand. Good fold for the oh. gutter ball. And well. this card sucks for Wolfgang. Two pair for Rom. He bets. He bets. Right. He'll probably get paid. Yeah, Wolfgang. Uh, Rivers top pair after breaking diamonds in a straight draw. You think you think you bet 300? Front door clubs got in. Broadway came in. He probably could have got 300. Here I am. My poker coaching. It's free <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth what you paid for it, folks. Now, you should tell the people, like, I don't know much about you, Mallory. Like, what's your story with poker? How did you get into this world? Oh, gosh. Um, I see you playing out there all the time. Every time I'm here, I've, you're in the mix. I've been, playing, I've been playing cards with my family kind of during the holidays at the kitchen table. And then, and I'm not going to tell you how old I was whenever I started playing. <laughs> but I would go to some, like, family friends and all that stuff, and we'd do $20 tournaments, and we'd, uh, five, we'd pay an extra $5 because Anne would always make us this food, and she's such an amazing cook, and her, the hospitality was just amazing. So we would all pitch an extra $5. Mm -hmm. And then that's kind of how I started playing, and my dad would stake me. <laughs> so you were playing an illegal underground poker game. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I probably should I shouldn't. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> and your father, who's... It's 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. <laughs> and then, you know, we'd split it if I won. And then I'd start, I started being able to buy in myself and also lose my own money. Yeah, it's like, oh, this hurts more when it's my own my, my money. Ooh, Sam's got ace king. Yeah, facing uh, an open for Safina, uh, three by the 275. Phil. Phil's still in the mix. So you've just been grinding it up since the $20. Well, so I own, I own a business. Oh, gosh, we got a, all spades on the board. King high. Sam is good with his ace king right now. Top for Sam. I've never been there, though, but I've heard it's like powder. No spoiler alerts. I just got some more news. <laughs> um, seven helps nobody. I think Phil could probably get away from this one. Could. You think he thinks it's spade? RV Phil, uh, you know, we shall see. RV Phil oh, likes to call. Oh, he does have a spade. Uh, you guys, like, check it, check it. Chris Yacht says, good stream tonight. Great commentating. Winky face. Winky face back at you, Chris Yacht. Thanks, Chris Yacht. <laughs> Spade. And it oh, comes, Spade. Wow. Spade. Let's go, Phil. Mallory wishing pain upon Sam. I mean. Getting sucked out on. Not wishing ill upon others, <laughs> but wishing good good fortune to most. Uh, and RV Phil's going to take down another one. Jeez, Phil. Just break the game, why don't you? $3,600 <laughs> pot with the nine of spades. Nice hand, nice hand. So you own a business, you said. I own a business in Oklahoma. Uh, we run free roll tournaments all across the state. Okay. Um, up in Stillwater, Norman, Oklahoma City. Um, at, I think 15, 20 games running a week up there. That's and it's cool. teaching people how to play poker. You've got it in college towns. You get these college buddies that come out and play. And just like the whole group of them. And they're, they're drinking their beer and having fun. And then... 
you'll get wives that'll come in or girlfriends that'll come in and I don't know how to play poker and I've got like well this is the best place this is the best environment for you to learn so hey if you guys are on your phone or computer look up uh, poker rx that's cool poker rx in Oklahoma City so what's I mean as a business what's the model do they pay a membership fee or do they it's it's free for everybody to join gosh look queens come on Sam, a lot of premiums we need to we need to start five bucks says we get queens one more time we've got an hour left i'm not taking that that's, uh, that's a pretty solid bet. <laughs> no but um it's free for everybody to come play and that's what makes it legal because there's no buy-in right. you can't tip for extra chips you can't buy chips mm -hmm. there's no cash exchange um, but the venue the restaurant or the bar that we play in will uh, have 30 people come in oh, on a okay. night that wouldn't normally be there to eat and drink and hang out and be good consumers. So that's that's the business model. It's entertainment. It's, I see. So the businesses have an incentive or will pay some type of... And they'll put up the prize, too. So the players will be competing for a $100 pot. A $100 pot. And you get 30 of them in there, and that's just... It's a fun night. It's right. so much fun. But it's a, it's a net positive for the business because they're getting additional alcohol or food sales. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh, okay. Very interesting, uh, unique service offer. We're going to be bringing it down to Dallas. And here's a good spoiler alert. I can do that. Uh, TCH is going to kind of be teaming up with Poker RX, and they'll be giving away some seats to tournaments and Sweet. teaching. We've got some uh, waitresses out here, cocktail hosts up there, that they want to learn how to play. And Why honey, are these people always playing cards? Honey, I want to teach you how to play. <laughs> We need more ladies in poker. 100%. We need more women, women in poker. Let's go. That's a really cool. I'm uh, excited. We all know I love Even if her. maybe you weren't making money, it's still a cool thing to contribute to the poker economy. He speaks his second language. Teaching people. Because it can be kind of a intimidating thing when there's money, like big money at stake here. Meanwhile, as uh, Sam fades the 5 and 10 and 9 from RV Phil and jeez, wins a little bit back jeez. now. Phil, you almost got there. So are you from Oklahoma originally? I, I went to Mustang, Oklahoma. Graduated from Mustang, Oklahoma. Shout out to, I was the mascot in high school. Oh, nice. I was. I was all American. I was all, you know, I was, I was a good mascot. That's cool. And so you just commute? Like, are you going <laughs> to Oklahoma every day? Well, during, whenever COVID happened, um, it, it kind of shut down my business. Right. And so, you, you know, there were other ways to play poker and other, um, just other ways to play poker. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of kept the, the fire burning during all of that. And then whenever everything started opening back up, uh, Colby, he deals down here. He, he, he would take the drive. I'm like, you take the drive. <laughs> and, but you find out that it's, it's really a, an amazing gig here. TCH mm -hmm. treats you like treats you like family. Um, all of these players, we go out like to dinner, or we'll go have a party, or if somebody's leaving the country, which happens a lot, happens a lot, we'll have a little going away party yeah, for them. That's cool. Um, any any reason to just uh, bring everybody together? It's it's a good good group of people here. So it was an easy decision, um, but I do. I still live in Oklahoma. I still wow. live in Oklahoma. But I'll stay down here. Gosh, maybe a week on, a week off. Okay. Cool. Here's a nice hand. Sturdy's got pocket jacks, Wolfgang, Ace King. Pretty standard spot. Jiggies versus Ace King, and Sturdy rewarded. King on the flop. Well, Wolfgang, Wolfgang. Uh, nobody has diamonds. There's back. There's front door diamonds right there. Fold sturdy. Yeah, Maybe a jack will come on the turn. But fold sturdy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> A lot of these guys are my pals, so I'm sitting here watching. Good folds, Dirty. 
Uh, yeah, you have to. Um, that's what I. That's what I was getting at. This. Um, it's tough. Like I. Well, I assume it's tough managing this lineup because it's hard to forecast when people are all gonna like be on vacation or if they're gonna just not feel like coming in. Where they because they're not like on a contract or anything. So you kind of have to build some. Like if enough people don't show up, the stream doesn't go. And so I don't think I've had that happen yet. I don't think I've. It's been close. I think Valentine's Day, and that was my bad, y'all. <laughs> what was I thinking? Um, that was a. That was that the women's stream? No, I think we ran maybe six-handed on Valentine's Day, and in hindsight, that was. I'm pretty sure I was here. You that. might have been here. But I don't. I don't remember it Everybody being bad. Everybody dressed up. They dressed up. Yeah. 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 People were wearing jackets. What'd you do for Valentine's Day? I played poker. <laughs> Standard. You play. You played on that unhinged all ladies stream, though. Oh my god. That gosh. I called. You, you guys can't judge me on my earlier oh days. I know Lord. how to bluff now. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to three bet now, and I straddle now. So, uh, cringe, cringe. But that game was so. <sighs> She she could not miss. She would not miss. That was that was easily the wildest I've been trying to get, I've ever I've been trying to get her to come back too. Whew. Man, it's rare that we have to mute the stream audio, but <laughs> the oh. times, so that, that was that was before I was. I think that was before I was booking uh -huh. the lineup. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And so I was meek little Ma Mallory that. <laughs> okay, guys. Just just everyone having fun? Just happy to be here. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, so now these, I'm a force. Guys, yeah, these guys have uh, <laughs> calloused you a bit. Well, I, the, my boy. My boyfriend. My boyfriend is the one that's kind of uh, lit a fire under my degenerosity. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh. He might be. He might be watching too. I think he's watching. Does he play cards as well? Yes. You know who he is. I oh, really? You know who he is? Is he? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were dating him. That's so cool. Yeah. Really nice guy. The nuts. The nuts indeed. Very generous with his uh, smoothie buying. My gosh, if you if you imagine, and I've said this before, if you imagine how nice he is to everybody else, imagine how nice he is to somebody that he. My Actually goodness. Likes. Yeah. That's really cool. I'm I'm happy about it. Happy for you. Kimmy, how are you doing? Oh, hey, Kim. So maybe lunch on Friday. <laughs> I talked to Carlos. I need to text you back. I talked to Carlos. He says he's busy. He says he's busy. So maybe we can get lunch on Friday. Carlos, the attorney. Five. Oh yes. Five. One time. Five. When do you, when do you leave again? Uh, pair of queens oh. for Danny KQ. How do I make a queen? I actually I just Tilted. played with a guy from Midland. Safine, you lost the lead. Running a private game there. I love listening to Moneymaker talk. He's got the best accent. He's so smart. Yes, Kim. Izzy and I are, are sweet. We're sweet together. <laughs> it's like the old school Oklahoma. Where we're going steady. We're going steady. We're going steady. Yeah, it's, it's super cereal. <laughs> super cereal. Does he live in Oklahoma as well? He's from the East Coast. He's from the East Coast. And all these guys love to play with Izzy, too. They like to battle it out. And they're asking, when's Izzy coming back? And I'm like, I'm going up there. He's like, you need to share, Mallory. You need to share Izzy with us. Oh, so like he just, he just travels back and forth from the East Coast. Like he doesn't have oh, okay. New York area? Or? Uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. Okay. So he's going to take you to Atlantic City. We, that's what we're doing. Yeah. We're going to go, uh, I think we're going to go to Baltimore. I've never been to the East Coast. Oh, uh, okay. The most north I've been was the Detroit Auto Show. I think that was the Okay. That's pretty north. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, those are some interesting smells in Atlantic City. Oh, gosh. You'll have to tell us how it goes. <laughs> what? It's good poker up there, though. So you said smells? Smells, yeah. It doesn't smell good. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm, it's a very, I'm sure study. people in the chat have experienced the city. Oh, Sturdy uh, shows the two. <laughs> finally <laughs> starting to show a couple of cards. Yeah, he's he's been fun. He's been fun to watch. He, uh, he's had very few premiums tonight and has been raising in interesting spots with marginal holdings. I saw he got he got pocket jack to jack fold Lord. earlier with oh, five uh, three. Five three. Yeah, that was the first hand he played in the. Box. I thought he was going to show. You're supposed to show your right, bluff. Right, in that spot. Hundred <laughs> percent. Well, maybe. Yeah. 
I hear you're always supposed to show your bluffs. Well, maybe not always. And and straddling is a selfless act. Like those who straddle at the table, we commend you. That's right. It is a selfless act. In some spots, it's not a money-making act, but it is self. I mean, I guess that's part of being selfless. Well, not then you, yeah. Then you find out the ones who aren't straddling, and then you just don't give them any that's action. Right. <laughs> you shame them publicly. Shame. Mm. Passively, <laughs> passively. <laughs> Sam with the ace queen, I guess completing the action four ways. Therese Sante open ended for Danny. Ooh, Danny flopped a nice. Yeah, that's a nice flop for Danny. Yeah, hundred percent. Sam with a straight draw on and over. Sam does not want to see an ace. Neither does Phil. An ace would hurt indeed. You see, you see like a four of diamonds or a nine of diamonds. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, oh I wow, did it! Wow. I did it. Somebody check this gal. What is happening? <laughs> Buy you some lottery tickets. Four of diamonds. She just straight calls it. Oh, my gosh. Hey, I'm catching on. Mom picks up a straight on. flush draw. That's how you do it. Unbelievable. Oh. I'm gonna, anybody want to do some flips with me? So this makes it interessante. Rom bets 750 with his straight flush draw. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just missed a FaceTime from my son, like four of them in a row. Oh, that's. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like those are the ones you need to I'm, pick up. Probably. I'm actually going to have to go out there because uh, it sounds like we have a seat then, open. Yeah. I'm calling my son, you guys, live on air. <laughs> Because this is kind of cool. Like, what does your mom do? <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> I mean, I can get a good volley going back and forth. Let's see if he yeah. answers. It's, oh, gosh, it's 9 o'clock. Yeah. Do you have, like, a tennis background or something? No, no, no. no. Okay. If, so you're, if, you're, if you have a tennis background, you're going to destroy me. Of course. Sam okay, continuing. Cool. Thanks, you know Kim. I I yeah. have this uh, poker right. intuition I mean, I here. <laughs> I should be winning more. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll be right back. Uh, duty calls. All right. See you, Mal. Mallory with her priorities straight. Family first. I'm playing under. Uh, we'll get the game going. Final hour of this 5, 10 and a quarter stream. Good times had by all. It's Ben K. German moneymaker was in the mix earlier. Mallory. The queen of the Tuesday and Wednesday night streams. Wolfgang Poker in the mix. And he's got two aces. Raising it to 300 right away. Tuesday, Rom on a Wednesday stream. That's right. Nick with two jiggities really had a tough time going. And this probably going to continue that trend. Absolutely it's dominated so by the aces of Wolfgang. So I'm hooked. My gym has it indoor. I'm three bet it to 1100. I just walk in there at fucking 11 o'clock and there's people playing pickleball. No shit. Yeah, we play pick up pickleball. Pick up pickleball. Oh, pick up it's ball. It's changed everything. And I mean, the court's small, but back to Wolfgang. Oh hell yeah. With Dude, the nuts. The whole time. Yeah. Getting played back. Yo. In position. All right. I don't know what kind of pull He's you gonna think I have rip here. it and ship it. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick's gonna call it. Oh, all in and a call. Seventy-seven hundred dollar pot. Jacks versus aces. I hope the worst hand wins. Three in the door. Two jacks remain. Uh oh. Aces pure. The birds. Pointy boy's gonna do it. GG's Wolfgang's running. got Nick covered. Yeah, maybe David wants to come in. And sometimes <laughs> it's just not your night. Yeah, where is he? He's, he's looking for a seat, no? I feel like he should have, like, priority. <laughs> yeah. Right? He was just here. Let's put him back in. Yeah, the men's donated to the I'm game. Cool. Give him a chance to get him back. Where is he? So, I guess hey, Nick's calling in tonight. Uh, David wants to come back. So, if you can find him, I think he's in the bathroom. Yeah, I'll 
Okay. He would like you a seat. For sure have a seat. That's a good idea. You Let's for do sure that. Have a seat. David wants to return. I wish I wouldn't have stayed Did last Friday. Yeah, our boy uh, Nick had busted, yeah. Where did you get picks up the birds, dude. He just puts the money in and gets a call. He had ages. Well, I know, I think he probably had a pair. He had a pair. Yeah, he probably had a pair, too. So a red bird? A lot of pair on pair madness. Yeah, that was the first time he got super aggressive, too. Like, he wasn't quiet. Yeah, he was quiet. He must have had a good one. I thought he maybe queen for a second When he said, oh no, I was like, no. Yeah, I was like, that's a horrible card. Okay. Five, ten, quarter here. Fifty. 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 And give yeah, fucking Danny like uh, tens. Yeah, and go ace, ten, 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 ace, ten, deuce. Ten, ten, ace. All the money. <laughs> I agree with everything except for the flop. Uh, I see. You don't yeah, want to pop a set? Hard to pop a set. Ace, full, ten, ten. Full. Okay, how about this? Full. Ace, ace, ten, ten. No, 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 no. We hit the bad beat. Full. No, 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 no. We split the 40, whatever. Yeah, I'll like break the 41. And, uh, you know, and I'll, break I'll give you some rake back. I don't know. What do you want from me? <laughs> uh, we don't rake games here, so... Oh, sorry. I'll give you a, a kickback. No kick there you go. <laughs> we'll use better terms. Check. Check. I want you to acquire that Pokemon for $50,000. Dude, if I buy that for $50,000... Like, I'd be, like, the biggest whale in town. Yeah, like, that'd be, that'd be a even... pretty epic yeah. purchase, for sure. And then the crazy well, part is, is TCH would market the shit out of it. Player buys however much that's idiot. worth. Yeah, for $50,000. 50 <laughs> 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 and then shows the clip of me just empty shoes oh, on the table. to be at the status where someone would even consider doing that. Uh, no. That's like insane. Even, like, yeah, I can see that being a, a good move. <laughs> like, yeah, that'd, that'd be, be so sick. Yeah. By the way, I tried a bite of that chicken. It is. And those fries. Oh, the yeah. fries are really good. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. 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 What are you cheating for? <laughs> you you like the rest of us. You shouldn't have given me all the for 25. Now I need <laughs> <laughs> the drinks are flowing on the Wednesday night stream. Hand 75. Sam winning 7K tonight. German moneymaker in the mix. Only for a few hands. An RV fill, limps, ace nine in the big blind. Wolfgang completes with the queen jack off, and Rom checks his option three way action. Ace, queen, and not, uh, excuse me, four. <laughs> No, he's Top pair, and I haven't been there. Top pair for RV Phil, second pair for Wolfgum. No spade to be found. Oh, yeah. It's not even. Why do you think I'm so fat right now? I didn't eat it. Yeah, so you just go eat at <laughs> 150. I lose 15K a week, and I got to eat it off. <laughs> got to eat it off. Yeah. You think about it later. You're like, all right, now what did I do wrong today? After you're nice and full. Thank you. Anton, you are what happened to the knit, the knit things? I love that game. Oh, the knit button? Yeah. yeah. How about, about, the, How about the stand? No, it wasn't mine. Yeah, the stand. Those, those were Mark yeah. Wee. I think Mark Wee is the one who's drinking stands. I'm so tired of sitting yeah. there. Like, I don't know yeah, if I can do it. Yeah, yeah, that, that was really fun, though. That yeah, was fun. We should bring... It's a little bit more action. You know, people are participating in this. I like that better than the 70s game, personally. Same. The stand-up game? I think it's definitely a better game. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll get some buttons made for uh, for us over here. I'll raise for 150. I mean, the lodge started that, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the sit down version of it. Yeah, very good idea. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I played the Nick game. So I played the lodge stream like a little while ago, and they oh, told me to go to the Nick game, and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And it got um, nuts as soon as it came on. Nuts. Um, how, what, 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 what day did you play? play what game was it, and how was it? It was uh, mm -hmm. quarter 50 50. So on which day It was Check. Saturday. Uh, yeah, I want to go okay. smash. Yeah, yeah, Saturday. And, uh, Saturday morning. It was sunny Yeah, outside. I mean, the, other than having Doug pull to my right, <laughs> which was uh, not ideal. And because every time I put the 100 on... He was to your right. Or sorry, to my left. Apologies. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Oh my yeah, yeah, yeah. And every time I put the 100 on, like, snap 200. So, like, the game would just get super big, but it was super fun. Great game. Great, uh, great four stacks. Like, I was in, 40, 30. what was I in for? I think I was in for 18. I had, like, 25 in front of me. Uh, yeah. Good game. Super fun. Great room.
May I get a water, please? A cold one, if you have it. Thanks, Donna. Yeah. Anybody else need something while she's here, guys? That's not your water? Uh, it is, but it's not cold anymore. <laughs> you know, I've, I've realized in life that you should just get whatever the hell you want. And if you can't, then go make some more money so you can. <laughs> Simple as that. Moneymaker rivering the straight. Betting 350 for value versus Rom's second pair. Oh my gosh, listen to all the. <laughs> what a card. Oh, yeah. The off suit, the off suit right variety, too. This is not how I expected that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember yesterday, we were all shooting on them? Money maker sits down, starts scooping. Did I miss anything? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hi, Hayden. Hi, Hayden. We got Fonz0538 asking, how often do you all stream? <laughs> We stream every Tuesday. Tuesday is a 25, 25, 50. Um, but yeah. if we're real about it, it's a 25, 50, 100, 200. And the 400 sometimes gets there. I wouldn't be surprised. And every Wednesday is the 5, 10, 25. Um, sometimes Wednesdays we mix it up, put some lady streams together, do some PLO streams. Um, that's whenever our, our special guests come in and we can do meetup games and be a little bit more flexible and creative. Raise the six hundred. Right, it's time. I'm nervous about if we did the knit game on the twenty-five fifty. Like oh my, it, I've seen it. I've seen it. I just want to coddle these players. And <laughs> Broadway flop. Tens ahead. Queen Ace Jack. Ten's good. Yeah, who taught you how to play bunker? Um, how'd you learn? How'd you learn? A little here, a little there. We got a new player coming in. Uh, he's played on the Tuesday game. He's played on the Wednesday game before. You might recognize him. We're going to have Sam number one and Sam number two up there. Really dissects him in a good way. Have you ever done that? Commentating? Ooh, Sturdy uh, wakes up with a premium. Raise. After in like the last 30 minutes delay, I'll like talk about it. Ace Queen not looking so bad. Sam's gonna raise 500. RV fills in there with pocket nines. Rom wakes up with tens. <laughs> Let's see how much money we can get into this pot. Somebody had aces yesterday when they were away from the table. I think it was Steven. Oh, no, no, Ragnar, my, oh, did somebody talk about another stream? Oh, whoops. Oh. Sam might be giving away a little bit of information about his hand. Sturdy, all in, 4.7K. The initial Razor, 100 pre-flop, and a 5, 10, 25. Rip it. Rip it, Sturdy. Sam three bet pre-flop with ace queen of clubs. Now facing an all-in against Sturdy for 4.7. He's got to wonder what these two guys behind him are going to do. You got RV Phil and Rom. What are they going to do? Anything. Anything, really.
Rom went all in with pocket tens in the small blind. Let's go. Sturdy, rebumps it up. None of this happens when you're out of the booth. Like, right when you came back, that's when the action started happening. What again. can I say? <laughs> So Sam, man, says Sam folds. folds. Folding, <laughs> Easy fold. Let me, let me Easy fold. Let me take it. Against two all ends pre. I deserve the net, but uh, the correct fold <laughs> after <laughs> all. It is painful. It is painful. No pair, though. No pair. Oh, <laughs> action. 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 Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> so RV Phil with the two nines doesn't want to fold. He's... He's got everyone covered. Oh, Phil. He'd love to fill two <gasps> players. Yeah, RV Phil. Well, Rom's not going to go all in over anymore, so you don't have to worry about that continuing. And I mean, action's done. Action's done. But. Oof. <sighs> oh baby, three ways. All right, let's all oh, let's all uh, wow. take a moment of silence while Travis figures out this pot. Thirteen <laughs> five. <laughs> uh, two players oh, all. Oh, no, 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 has been running super know, pure the last few things, weeks. Umid, ship it. Ship it. <laughs> Umid, come play yeah, next week. Let's go. Yeah, we need Umid back in the mix. That's uh, it's been a yeah, while. Yeah, Umid's Umid's in that for sure. He's probably got the suited variety. Umid, we're gonna start playing uh, the knit game. You you ready to take all of these knits money? No, <laughs> he's not a knit. That's for sure. No, he's gonna take the knits money. That's right. He'll be he'll be free rolling from the first hand. <laughs> And Travis, oh, yeah, is really earning it now, having to support up these There's multiple side pods. Yeah. yeah. I had that. Mm -hmm. It just stresses me out when it's like this high stakes, but uh, Travis is a pro. Oh, yeah. Sturdy. Oh, oh, sturdy. What's the queen hit? 13,500 in this pot. Dude, I couldn't tell you. I can't tell you. You guys are on the outside. Yeah, well, I mean, I attacked from them. Huge pot. 13K in the middle. Three ways. RV Phil. RV Phil still would be up 13. Yeah. $13,000. And it freezes. Queen on the flop. Ace, Ace on the turn. Ace on the Sturdy turn. looking good so far. He's got a fade, a 10 or a 9. There we go. Queen, right? <gasps> Sturdy! Wow. Yeah, Sam did fold Ace Queen, and Sturdy ships a nice oh, Sam. 13K pot, and Rom hits the felt. Oh, Sam. Wow. They all sounded like the Sir, aliens from wow. Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> it's the claw. <laughs> That's funny. Right, That's so funny. <laughs> oh, Rom. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Sturdy now up 6,500 on the night. Uh, had a tough time getting things going, and now... That buys a lot more diapers. What is this? We have John Ryan in the chat, too. You John guys. Ryan in the mix. We've I got all kinds of poker personalities showing up. Yeah, like, where have you guys been all my life? <laughs> Let's go. I, you know how I said, so there's like a top, there's top. I am, I can't, you know, release these players. Yeah, names, but there's like top the five action. players uh, in, in like Dallas poker scene or in my Dallas poker scene. And those two right there are in it. They put on a good show. Oh my gosh. For sure. Any day, any day. Storage hands with John Ryan playing uh, against Milkman a couple of years ago. They're not scared. Neither, no. neither of these guys are scared to put their money in there, put people to the test. What is that, 75? I love to see it. Yeah. I love, you guys have spoiled me. Money. Like, and now. <laughs> uh, you, you appreciate the ones that uh, aren't just grinding. Uh, make some plays, play some future pots. How good's your hand, Chris? Pretty good? Interesting. Mine's pretty good, too. I check. Pocket fives ahead against Moneymaker's ace queen. Moneymaker spent the last two and a half hours digesting all of the players' tendencies. What and an edge. He, and now he's... He's smart. You never bluff an overcaller. I check. Knots. <laughs> check. Knots. 
Ship it. Right, ship it. Right. Ship it. Fine. Safine, what? Against me, Safine would be. I've seen, seen Safine pull off some of the nope. sickest <laughs> bluffs. <laughs> like the <laughs> sickest <laughs> bluffs. Yeah, he likes to get in there every once in a while with a good air you, is he, bluff. Where is he? Val, howdy, Kirby. Howdy back at you, Val. Long time no see. I mean, I can call him or something. You want me to? I was in there. Oh, here, here I am. There we go. The, oh, yeah. This is very meta. <laughs> Two Mallories. <laughs> do, 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 do. Did you uh, if I connect with the family? I did. Son? I oh, did. Good. Yeah. He scored two goals in soccer. I'm like, you know what happens Sweet. if you score three of them? He said that? He's like, it's a hat trick. Oh, I'm like, you're right. <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> yeah, I knew you knew. Yeah, yeah. You had a side part. Does he enjoy soccer? Oh yeah, oh yeah, soccer, Great. baseball. So it's I'm at so we're, we're at the parent stage where uh, sports like yeah, that. I used to see it all the time with my friends and obviously growing up. Mm -hmm. And I used to, I used to dog them for it, but yeah. 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 Right, right. You appreciate them being active, but uh, it's so great. It's, it's so great, and, and it's probably fun to watch too to see them compete. But man, I, I have friends too that are doing the baseball, soccer, football thing, and it's nonstop. It's like, dude. Wow, John Ryan with a seventy-seven dollar super chat. Let's go. Seventy-seven from heaven. Thank you, John Ryan. Or two sevens from heaven. Pocket sevens from heaven. Thank you. Classy dono there. No, I think I think poker has given me more compassion for like competitive children's sports because uh, you know it, when your son has a bad game and he's disappointed about losing mm -hmm. and maybe he cries. Mm -hmm. Maybe he cries. Oh gosh, moneymaker. Yeah, it's a nice flop, flop on the flush draw. Both of them got aces. Turns the wheel draw. Fully loaded. Nine plays. If only Danny knew you're ahead, Danny. Yeah, Danny and moneymaker probably tend to try to avoid each other, but this is inevitable. Easy call, easy call, all day. And it comes <gasps> perfect diamond Bink. for Moneymaker. Look at him, putting on a clinic. 2,500 in the middle, do you bet at it now or do you try to induce your opponent to bet one more time by checking? I sometimes foresee him putting out a little blocker bet to ensure that there's, it's not going check, check on river. You know, I, I missed the part in poker coaching where your draws get there. Yeah, same. Like, <laughs> when I, I say if I have more than 13 outs, I'm going to miss them. <laughs> and then I had a dealer tell me, well, there's more cards that are not your out than there are, are your out. Oh. Like, well, you're right. You're right. Wow, Andy Bartolone, $100 Super Chat. Mallory, if you want to Andy, know anything you're about in Baltimore? Baltimore, hit me up. Baltimore. 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 I'm I'm gonna be a total tourist. I want to see all things historical and <laughs> and all the. I love that Baltimore accent. Yeah, that'll be a fun trip, especially if you've never been to the Northeast before. I've never been to the Northeast. I'm so excited. Uh, Danny in the tank, really trying to figure out what bets River, and he makes a very Good wise bowl, fold. Moneymaker takes down. $3,500 pot. Yeah, very classy donos Thank from John Ryan and Andy. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Very grateful for that. It's depreciated in the last few years, but at one point it was. Yeah. No, I was, I, I was saying about the competitive sports and uh -huh. stuff. Um, poker's made me a little bit more compassionate because I, admittedly, there have been some bad beats um, that I've had, and it's not just one hand mm -hmm. it's like a series of sessions where mm -hmm. it just gets at you and you just want to curl up and in a ball people, sometimes yeah. and people asking you questions like stop oh, <sighs> he's so i you know sometimes a good cry is good not that i <laughs> <laughs> but i can't do anything but cry yeah like I'm, I'm an ad, good advocate for no, for crying, but it doesn't count as crying if a tear doesn't go down your cheek. <laughs> like if you can hold them in your eyeballs, it's not crying. It's just a, I'm taking a break. 
Andy, oh, tourist stuff. Make sure I go to the aquarium and the zoo. Let's go. Mm. I'll bring my walking shoes. <laughs> well, I don't know where he is now. You, I, he played the poker. Oh, guys, we got it. We, we're almost. Where does time fly? I know. It is 9:25. It's nice having the um, the cycle of guest commentators. It's nice to switch things up. I mean, it had to have been a total switch up. Yeah, yeah. But, oh, oh no, it's it's Mallory actually. I I'm not prepared for this. I, I've done no prep. I, I'm. I'm I was out there just having fun at my little one-two table. Um, and then a seat opened up. I'm like, all right, moneymaker. We talked about this. Like, let's go. It's your turn. He was, yeah, he was looking his chops to get out there. Especially. Uh, yeah. <laughs> especially after all those ships went to RV, Phil. Yep. Hey, Sam. There's Sam and Sam. Sam and Sam. King seven suited for Sam. Moneymaker. Inferior diamonds. Queen six suited. You know, I'm I'm trying to be more disciplined with my calls and limit it to like three gappers, <laughs> like no more four gappers. <laughs> four gappers are optimistic in a lot of scenarios. Refill Ace Queen. Baltimore. Baltimore. Is that Baltimore? Is the I mean I'm I don't not know from Baltimore. Baltimore, but yeah, Baltimore. Maybe I'm I so used to talking to Izzy. It's diamonds and straight draw. Uh, wait. Is that the right board? We had that. I missed it. I think it might be reading. Where is it? Deuce, deuce, four, four. Four, four, deuce, deuce. Okay, so it looks like a black card in the river, Nine. so the diamond's missed anyway. Ace high. Oh, man. All those diamonds and not a. Second nut, no pair. Well, Sam Ace was holding high, two please. of them. It's a Wolfgang. Wolfgang leading the pack. Almost up 9K, sturdy up six and a half. Maybe we'll make the vlog since he's... Uh, Look at it. Everybody's winning. Oh, yeah, That's kind of sad for the people. Not I know. The, we got some real chance that come out and play. and It's usually a happy table when it's the whole table full of winners. We got 50. I heard last night um, after the live stream, you, I mean, everybody uh, saw the on. stats on the stream and four from last night. And, and Dong, oh, yeah. Dong was... Uh, he he was stuck a little bit, yeah, but that. post stream, Dong is the king of flips. You just, if you want to lose money, if you don't like money, do a flip with Dong. He's got to be like. Oh wow! A bunch of flips. Oh my gosh! I haven't heard about him losing one. <laughs> two aces for Danny, raising the two thousand. Oh, so is that a straddle? I think, yes. I think so. So now Sturdy's up. He's. Open to straddling. Sturdy, now. I'm so happy. You just made my day. You, you, you get a good there. pot and you give back. Straddling is a selfless act. <laughs> now, Safine, my man. Set mining with the two fives. RV Phil, he's also up. Got some playable chips. Oh, boy. Here goes Sturdy. Three, eight, seven feels like a pretty ideal flop for two aces. I'd say. Check from Phil. Danny with the option. 3,300 in the middle. Danny would love to build a pot. Try to find a way to get all in by the river. He's got the ace of spades. So about a little over half pot. I, I think I left like at 1 a.m. or something. So he went down to 60. And when he, uh, oh. when he hit him and uh, George went on. Oh. Aces, good. Aces, Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Come on, Aces. Oh, so sick. I said it right before I left. It is oh, really strange God. seeing these uh, so stats on the screen oh when everybody's in the so green. Yeah, it's, it doesn't happen like that very often. Aggression. Let's see who's, well, it looks like Wolfgang. Mm -hmm. Wolfgang. I like to see it. Sturdy, love to see it. The mm case -hmm. card out there, I get it all. He's never fully aced. I'm not exactly sure how that's calculated. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm not either, but I like to see big numbers on there. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, more aggression, the better. Maybe SB, first hand of the night. 
Yeah, I was like, two eight. Does he have a draw? Like, what is he doing? What are they doing? Yeah, you might get extra, extra from me for sure. I went out there and talked to them earlier. Had a pair, a lot and Safin was giving himself a hard time. Ooh, all clubs. He's got a little club working. Safin, top pair, <laughs> kicker. I don't think Safin is going anywhere. No. It's a top pair, no kicker, and it comes oh, club, though. That might that might kill some action. Check, check. Check, SD check. would like to see a showdown no with ace. his eight of clubs. Ooh. Ace. Check. We have the ace. Pair of aces. You've got the eight of clubs. Beginner luck. Fix it down. All right, we're at 9.30, 9.30. I got to go check in with the table and see what stakes we're going to be playing after this stream. It's 5, 10, 25 now. Probably going to go up. Probably. Price of poker probably <laughs> is about to go up. sickos every week. <laughs> All right, Mallory. Oh, yeah. I'm really, I'm really hungry. Oh, you've been like eating. Oh, you've been taking bites. That's the highest thing you can do. Very. I had a few. I had a few. I had a Raise to 75. <laughs> Call 75. Hold, hold. <coughs> Ooh, rolling the Hold. And we're head up. I think God is clean holding. Ooh, yeah. Check. He would have stacked. Three of you. Well, he, I don't think Phil would have stayed in. Yeah, you're probably right. Like Check. Phil calls after he calls. Is that 175? Yeah. Queens and nines for RV Phil. Wins 115 US dollars. Final 30 minutes of the stream. We've made it. The longest 30 minutes of the stream, potentially. When you've been doing uh, this for three and a half hours, one? hopefully uh, we play some massive four. ones. Danny and I chopped. That's what we need, hard. folks. We need a 30k pot. Just replenishing my beer. Yeah. You come by and just look and check to see if it was getting close to empty. Just bring me another one. Right. It's awesome. <laughs> Good time. Good time. Just about I'll take, I'll take like the win. Yeah. But yeah. It doesn't. We want the same amount of money that you. It needs to be over the circle, sir. Oh, I got the picture and the Twitter post. You got the official first place. Yes, let's see how it has a RFID. Yeah, and as long as it's somewhere in that center area. Fold, fold, fold. Call 25. I think it went from I started with Bud Light, ran out of those, and you started feeding me Dos Equis. Dos Equis. 125 from Danny with two nines. Safin and Jack 10 in position on Danny. He's going to three piece it to 375. I'm going to hand it three bets you all night. I've done it all night. I get it. I've been at a final table working myself. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. I'd like. I don't know. 375? It is a total of 375. Well, yeah, exactly. I've been at this final table several times. I'm sitting right here. Heads up. All right, Sturdy, I'm not letting you sweat anymore. Oh, my bad. Every, t every time I let you sweat, I just... Obviously, I'm, I'm and whips again. Seven on the turn, pairs the poor Danny. Two pair nines and seven. Safin. Maybe has an opportunity to 
represent the delayed C bet with the represented king. I don't know. Like, he didn't bet flop. No, excuse me. He did, he did bet flop. Now Safin betting 1,050. Sorry, I got totally discombobulated on this hand for no reason. <laughs> Danny with the two nines probably can go either way and just decides to fold. Got him. Got him. Got him. Shit. 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 Shows the jack 10 high. Making his own luck. Rigged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, it can't be much <laughs> different than that. <laughs> or your diamond draw, whatever the hell you had. Ooh. What do you need to get raised? Call because now I'm full of shit. Because well, whatever raises, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wolfgang, ace five suited. Fourteen thousand dollars stack. What? What raises? One fifty thousand dollar Pokemon. Raise two twenty five. Three bet to two twenty five. I'm going to call in between. I'm going to make it with the 8 5 ball. Getting a price. Three players. It's going to complete. Nine, deuce, four. Wheel draw for Wolfgang. Overs for Sam. Backdoor clubs. And Sam's going to lead at this board. in the mix, in the tank. Call Calls the 300 queen of spades on turn. Sam, I think gotten himself kind of in a predicament, out of position with ace 10 high. Betting 350 now. tank with the wheel draw. Kind of confused about this line from Sam. Getting a price, he's going to continue, and it comes eight of diamonds. Second nut low for Wolfgang. Sam going to bet a thousand, a little more strength. It's a medium fold from Wolfgang. Shows the ace-10 ball. Little did you know, you were good. <laughs> you were good. with the best of it. Ten plays. This lead out was such a garbage. Thank you. Let's go. Get like seven deuce all the way. I would much rather end the stream up 10K, 10K than end even. I don't know. I saw a player last week start off the stream with like down 24,000. Down 24,000. And then by the end of the stream, he was just down 1,000. That's close to even. But I would feel pretty good. Yeah. I would feel pretty good about it. If you put the two on, you might From 24 to pretty much even. I'm 100% yeah, I, I don't know if I'd have a place to sleep if I came home having lost 23,000. I think these guys would sleep just fine. <laughs> well, yeah, I think most of them, that's the craziest thing. Right, that's the where it doesn't even really matter. <laughs> yeah, I just got to put a couple more hours in at the office, honey. Gosh. He hit his he hit his two outer. <laughs> What amazing partners poker players must have. Oh, yeah. What happens if both of you are poker players? I can 
Yeah. You're in tr- we're you in trouble. You got a weird, you got a weird so schedule, and you got weird money oh. conversations. Oh. Oh. Does that say money? Seven deuce. Seven deuce. deuce. Seven deuce. The one time Are they, oh, they're actually playing it. Oh, nice. That, that makes me so happy. Oh, two hundred dollars seven deuce game. Appreciate you guys. Give me a rack. <laughs> How do, I, how do I let him get away with it? <laughs> how do I just keep Wow. You know you're on the button. I know. Nice. Wow. You would take both. I'm such a nit. She just called him with Jack Nine yeah. off one time. Safin, uh, Safin was Nine's talking awesome. about his V-Pip earlier, and wow. he's, he's usually he's usually <laughs> good action. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been good, yeah. He hasn't been, been playing a ton tonight. Wow. Wow. He's been playing uh, back a little bit. Ocean. Ocean. Let's go, Phil. Ace Jack. Ace Jack feels worthy of an open. Sometimes he'll limp in these spots, but it looks like a raise coming. Raised to 125. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so tilted. Sturdy with the snow. Sturdy in there. Oh, yeah, I know, let's right? go. Multi-way. I like all of these hands. Yeah, big, big fan. My, my only thing that I don't like is position. Like, it's just, you get, you get jack 10. Eights, eights are feeling pretty good. <laughs> Flop lag. Seven, deuce, four, two, eights. <laughs> Feels pretty good. We we'll see Sean in the mix. Let's go, moneymaker. <laughs> Sean, hello. This this has been a fun stream yeah. to watch and, and talk to everybody you guys. Everybody got the word that you were commentating. So oh. Now everybody's more apt to comment. <laughs> I think we have some Mallory fans out there. Hey, I'm the I'm their biggest fans too, so it goes both ways. Check. Goes Queen Four, turn and river, sturdy still with the best of it with the two eights. Jedi Master Master Ted over here, same, same. <laughs> like this is I I don't think I've ever seen a live stream with all green, all pluses. I've been doing this a while about, now. Maybe <laughs> yeah, I think uh, most people know poker to be a zero-sum game, yet somehow our game has everyone as a winner. Look at good look at <laughs> RV Phil. <laughs> RV Phil's hold winning on, 70. Hold on, That's, That can't be. What just happened? Yeah, RV so Phil we, should we do, we do two I don't know. I don't know how much I'm not going to question for. it. I think we know. Yeah, you probably need to double. No, I'm like yeah. stacked. 70. Hey, a win's a win. Double up on the 50s. Yeah. A win <laughs> is a win. Drinks on Phil. Drinks on yeah, Phil for mind. sure. We'll, we'll, yeah. do two, we'll do a $200 poker. Okay. And yeah. take, out yeah. a hundred, take out 100. That'll work. Yeah, we should do oh, make, we should make it bigger anyway. Do, do a $200 flip and take out 100. Yeah, that's Next. Right. Let's Next. Let's do that. All good? You know, it amazes me. We can get like a hundred all or a hundred hands in here at these big games. Right. We're almost mm -hmm. at a hundred hands. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, we might. We still have fifteen minutes because yeah, we'll we're behind. Mm -hmm. Man, and uh, I, I, it really was. I'm a. Yeah, I've was been a dealer. I am a dealer. I haven't dealt in a little bit. <laughs> but I, I see these games here at Texas Card House with no rate. You know? mm -hmm. You're not I losing $500 an hour just, off of the table to the casino uh, that you can never win back barrel. again. And, and it, uh, in my mind, oh, even oh, without God. being a dealer, <laughs> dealers should be getting tipped more <laughs> in that aspect. Look at S. Look at Sam. Jackson Sevens with your favorite oh. hand, too. <gasps> Moneymaker second pair from behind. Thank you, Ted. It was very kind of you to say. Absolutely. My my insight might be a little too gamble gamble. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's, it's a nice mix between the German moneymaker that you're looking at now and Mallory the the DJ. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. As B takes it down. I That's know. what I was going to ask. Are you? What are you doing full time now? Like, are you still dealing, or are you? Uh, so I I book the live streams, but then I still own my business in Oklahoma, okay. and I've got Operating a great that. team up there that helps keep it operating while I'm out of town doing these things. And um, cool. I, I I couldn't have a better support group. 
um, in Oklahoma. And then down here, I did a bankroll challenge a few weeks ago where I was dealing until I made a thousand dollars, and I made the thousand dollars in like four nights. I probably could have done it in two, but I'm just like, I'm done. I can go. I'm like, I want to go. I really want to go. Look at Sturdy getting the two hundred dollars straddle on again. That's what we needed. We should have known. What was the raise? What was the three bet? Two fifty, was it? But I made I made the thousand dollars, and then my goal was to uh, go punish some two five players. I was just gonna wreck. I talk a lot of game, a lot of smack for somebody who's bankroll. <laughs> it's like one of their buy-ins. Mm -hmm. You're kidding me? And uh, I lost my thousand, and but I lost again. If, if you lose your chips to the right person, like that's that's key because you have a chance to get it back. Well, I did lose it to the right person, but then I lost another thousand dollars. So maybe it's time for me to get back in the box for bankroll challenge part two. Sure. Get unstuck. <laughs> kind of so brutal. Backfired on me. Yeah. Well, turn it over. That feeling. Look wow, at this, sturdy. What's happening? Are they flipping or something? They both showed their queen. They both showed their queen. I'm queen high. Oh wait, well, these cards are not reading. Oh wait, no, he's got. Oh, uh, they're being cute now. They're being cute now. You like? You want to check it down? No, punish. Yeah, my my three. Punish them. These guys are too nice. Where, I need to get a seat in this game. Yeah, you do. I think there's a seat open. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to go wreck these guys. That would be awesome. <laughs> you see me crying outside <laughs> afterwards. Just leave me alone. No, you shouldn't have played. We tried to tell you. You were out of your league. I was ahead. I was ahead. I'm never getting bluffed again. <laughs> You tried to bluff RV Phil. We tried to tell you to losing play. I didn't believe him. <laughs> but, it, you know, and then my uh, self, self peace, like, well, at least I left it to the right person. Mm -hmm. Still. <laughs> but had fun. Uh, that was, yeah, that was a fun. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll go you get it on the it? flip. You should. Actually, I'm a less is more I've tried. I thought about you know, it, but it would be a bad look if I just won everybody's money. Right, right. Oh, yeah, let me get this last one. <laughs> it might be like the next uh, uh, next uh, big topic. Still. Mallory. <laughs> yeah, Poker News does a write-up. Like, forget about this other stuff that's going on against heads-up matches. And, oh, my gosh, have you been following any of that? No, I saw I saw airball? some clip of Turkey getting an airball's right face. So, 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 so. Oh, my gosh. Are they playing I, online or are they playing? I think they're playing live. I, I probably shouldn't speculate too much just because I don't want to give away any of my biases. But are they playing huge? <laughs> uh, they're playing huge. Uh, both of them, they, they have made an agreement, or as far as I knew, that they made an agreement that they can both stop at a million. If, you know, one of them loses a million, you can stop and still have your pride. Like, and I'm not going to judge you. I mean, there's probably still going to be some trolling. But if you lose a million, you can be done. But you're not allowed to leave until you lose a million. How much of that is action is sold? Right. It's got to be significant. There's no way. I don't know. Airball might be able to. I don't know what. I don't know anything about Airball other that. than... I don't think um, he agrees that she wants to do it, it's okay. Him, it's just time having that big right? night against <laughs> Rampage. <laughs> Rampage winning like 500,000. He gave Rampage a lot of respect, Dad, that's for sure. Dad, this is what you said on this stream. And now you're saying no. Just, just like, don't be a hypocrite, Dad. How is this my life for you? And I'm over here, you guys want to come out in Dallas? Like, right. hey. <laughs> Let's go. Like, not for my daughter, I'll go on a liquor run for you, too. Four-way action. Moneymaker with the king nine. <laughs> these are some, these are playable hands. I like these. Oh, sixes. Bottom set. And unfortunately for Moneymaker, he flops top pair. 10k a month just to see pictures of your toes? Are you oh gosh, they're about to ask me. I do. Oh, I would do 100%. My daughter. They're about to pull me into this conversation. Oh, no. Okay, listen. We're, on, uh, we're, we're in a really fragile place in this world right now. I can't be saying things like that all. My daughter has all the free will in the world. The one, the one I don't have yet. The one that is probably like way down the line. Yeah, look at this guy controlling his. Yeah, Talking exactly about right. selling pictures yeah, of your feet for money. Oh, no. yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's coming next. 
Next time we'll get the drinks pouring like an hour in advance. We'll have a warm up round. Huzzah. Yeah, you got it Ooh, Sam checks his set. This is sneaky, sneaky for Moneymaker who, if I was fate, probably feels like an okay card. For his hand, Sam playing this. I believe you. Oh my really god, deceptive. the price has gone up. Now it's becoming more of a yes. Mark up. She's got the mark up. There you go. Raise. Didn't you yeah, it costs money. You Ooh, alarms, red flags are going oh, off. Is that a... Yeah, oh my goodness. All right, we got a business money maker. Bet on the turn. Dude, 500. So cool. Min <laughs> click. Watch out for those They're min so clicks, odd. people. Yeah. I'm not 100%. I have been owned. <laughs> I have been owned. 10 more minutes? Like, I can wait 10 minutes. Yeah. 1,025. Maybe he thinks. Oh. Oh, my house for Sam. 3,000 in the middle. Yeah, I think they said 950. Probably. Yeah, if we change, if we change, we change. What kind of sizing is Sam going to go? Another 1,000. That's a good idea. That's half hot. Oh, man. Yeah, probably. That's what I heard. These guys and oh, we on the table were talking about years. selling pictures of your feet. Would you do it? Would you sell pictures of your feet for ten thousand dollars a month? Is this like a date you found online? Yeah. Twenty. Twenty k. There's maintenance involved <laughs> in this. <laughs> nice. For just pictures of your feet? That, I mean, I, that was all that I was given. That, that's the information that I was presented. Yeah, I think right, so. Oh. I, I, have, oh, I have limits. I have standards. <laughs> Dignity. Sam. Yeah. Thank you for getting my revenge with that yeah. new Maybe, I, I, hey, yeah. instead of a... Uh, Ten thousand a month is that. pretty nice. It is. I'll start playing this game. Right. Yeah. Ten thousand. Yeah. A buy-in a month. I can't just call. Free roll. I have to go all in. You know. Sam almost up a stack of high society. What if you do some crazy things? I know my opponents. I've been watching TV. Shows the ace hand smashes. Yeah, for real, right? Sam, it, these games are really, really good for players to look back, study their own betting habits, their own tells, mm -hmm. leaks, but it also allows people to go back and, and watch their opponents. Yep. Um, that's not to hinder all of you future players from coming to play. Right, it's a risk and a benefit at the same time. You gotta be okay with people. Or mix it up. Come yeah. on, mix it up and just go crazy. And then you're going to get all of the action off the stream. I've seen it happen. I remember Cashman came in, like his first stream, live stream that he played. I don't, maybe, maybe he got wrecked. I think maybe he got wrecked. <laughs> but then after that, it was just he was getting invited to these games. And you get, like your action at that point. Yeah. Help with a little branding for you. He's like, it's an investment. It's an investment. <laughs> it's an expensive investment. That's why you have to show your bluffs. That's right. Even if you, even if you get called down, that's. I mean, either way, this hand's gonna get shown. Sam with the opening straight draw takes it down. How much is a stack of low society? Um, good philosophical question. <laughs> a stack of low society. I guess. Hmm, a dollar in pennies. <laughs> no, some, it's got to be somewhere in, in there. Penny. Yeah, it's somewhere in there. Do the penny shuffle. <laughs> oh, man. We are nearing the end of this stream. Yeah, good times had by all. Have we done any, have we done any like location uh, shout outs? Hey, you guys, if you're watching, like this video. <laughs> Let's show some support. Where are you watching from? We've got Baltimore here. We've got Dallas. I've seen some Dallas. <laughs> Austin folks. I think I got some Oklahoma people. Black chips, Phil. Black chips. There you go. <laughs> yeah, appreciate everybody joining us and hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, all that good stuff, and sticking with us for the last four hours. If you missed any of it, this lives on the TCH Live channel on YouTube for your viewing pleasure whenever you want. So feel free to rewind the video in a future date. Leave a comment below if you're watching this in the future. 
and get some of uh, German money makers GTO insights about the two card game. Yes, see yes. See some of the uh, hero calls that happened in the first two hours of the stream. Yeah, I think if you call the turn. Very entertaining. Four hours tonight. The river is, that's course. that's a good deal right there. I know I know how much some of like these blank, pros charge for their coaching an hour. And very if true. that doesn't it's make you want to get into poker, then. <laughs> Yeah, that's the real way to m make money in poker. Is yeah. Ooh, Sam coaching. getting hit with the deck here. I've, I mean, almost. almost. Look at me getting excited about these draws. <laughs> oh, I, if that says anything about me. <laughs> I've got a chance. Look at that, and it would got just... 20% equity. Get my money to uh, draw a card. Look at these whole cards. 5-4, five, 8-4, four, four, 5 deuce. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good poker game now. Yeah. The vodka has hit its stride. The moneymaker takes it down. Money. Well, he Stop had the best it. hand. No. Shows it it is no. Santa five. Oh. oh, I for sure call. I for sure call with the open-ended. Unless it was a mystery. It yeah. might yeah. have been. Yeah. Yeah. He's like the hit button yeah. indeed. We got an Austin. We've got a Forney. We've got a Dayton, Ohio. Hey, I was just up in Cleveland, Ohio. I played it. Uh, Jack, Jack, Cleveland, off. Ohio. I played uh -huh. with the Run Good crew up there. They like, I think they're in uh, Florida right, right now. Gosh, they're uh, everywhere. Shout out to them. They do such a great job. Putting on tournaments. Oh gosh, just they're the bed mid stakes um, in the country, or I think they, you see all of these people that I used to play one three with or one two with, and just play a round of each game with when one three was a little steep for me. And uh, now they're just they're killing it. They're killing it in this world, and it's it's so great to see. It gives you so much. Yeah, inspiration to do better and be better because yeah. um, you can see how good it can be. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Okay. One, 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 Jeff Platt part of that crew? Yeah. Jeff Platt yeah. does do uh, a lot of with Run Good also. They've got some rock stars in their lineup. They really have. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I met them year, like five or six years ago. I played in the ladies tournament with Haley. And we were talking about uh, the free roll poker and my business. And it just kind of grew from there. She's like, let me let me get you in contact with the president, Tana. And I'm like, that sounds great. And I had no idea what it would just turn into. And they've invited me out to be an ambassador. They've invited me out to be all, like, Easy it's just. Money. That's cool. Hell yeah. Queens. Somebody owes me five bucks. I bet somebody out there that Queens were going to happen again. And it did. And within the last three minutes of the stream, you were made correct. I'm rich. I'm up. <laughs> five bucks is universal bet. It can be anything. Yeah, five bucks is universal. Like yeah. Sam over the ten thousand dollar mark. Money maker. Big loser. Oh, at this table. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. I don't think he's uh, super worried about losing eight hundred bucks. And playing for. Ooh, sturdy seven seven seven. I like Make it. Make a wish. And yeah, that networking yeah. thing is is powerful. It only takes like meeting one person to basically it does. change the direction of your life. I think, you know, meeting the right people um, is is a big factor, but also being a being a good person uh, I think pays off. In in my life I've had some adversity and some obstacles and some some ugly people in in your life, but as long as you say positive and I mean I'm not trying to sound cheese or cringe. But Being a decent person just, is just a like, net oh, positive. Sure. Oh, Maintaining oh, that God, positivity like, oh, helps, oh, and um, it, yeah, it's led yeah. me to where I am now, and I'm, I feel well, blessed and just to be part of it. Yeah, it's great. Ooh, look at this. How many players are in this? Six players yeah. on a Sam flops another flop. set. Wolfgang and RV fill both with top pair, and SB's got some variation of bottom pair. And Moneymaker is bored already. I'd love to see an eight on the turn. It would make things spicy. So $3 bet from RV Phil. Wolfgang looks like a raise inbound. And this, excuse me, no, he just picked up a bunch of different chips to just call. You guys got to watch out for Sam. I've been seeing him doing some check raising a bunch tonight. Yeah. Sometimes it feels like players have your number. Yep. 
actually. <gasps> so this is interesting. Good, good. I mean, I'm not condoning that, but as long as oh Sam's God. action, so uh, SB raised 15 <laughs> out of turn, and wow. action was on Sam to call his set. So now, because the action didn't change, Sam is guaranteed to get a fifteen hundred dollar call from SB. Or to raise even more. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What a gift. This is interesting. <laughs> SB, he's got to do maybe. <gasps> Sam is definitely going to raise this now. I think. Heads up. Well, they came back. Oh, we were down. And he is. He's ripping it. Oh, oh my gosh. Set over set. We are looking at a set up. Set oh, up. No. Pocket twos. His card didn't read, but we're getting we're getting some music. Set over set. Kevin Herder from Atlanta. Sick. See, you can say that. This might be the last hand of the night. I go saying shit like that. 10 p.m. SB facing a ship. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, $17,000 <laughs> yeah. pot to end the I'm night. Like, Let's like, go. So okay hold on, hold on. So first of all, hmm? Sam like checked oh, his set, and in? then SB checked his set, oh, right? Oh, I think so. Yeah, both of them checked. Goes, sneaky, sneaky. Bet, Look at raise, call, call in, in, call. <laughs> wow. What do you have? Yep, we're running two turns, two rivers. Good. All right, good uh, luck, guys. Turn, Shit. Turn. That is so <laughs> So I'm assuming first board goes to Sam. Mm hmm If he does, in fact, have deuces. Oof. Yeah, just like one out. Yeah. Nice hand, Sam. All right, we got class full. Sick, sick, sick. That is a cooler. $17,000 pot, and that puts... Sam, yeah, close to 20,000 winner for the night. Yeah. Where's RV Phil in this? Phil, what? Sorry, four again, so everything Are RV Phil's stats right? I, don't I know. feel, did I miss a big hand? I, I, I can't remember. It's been a long four hours. Because Phil stacked uh, Viddy, David. Mm -hmm. I can't remember how much. Uh, Fills in for the game. That was the last two card hand. Now a two hundred dollar four card flip coming at you. Thank you to everybody that's tuned into the stream. This is going to be the last hand for the night. I do five on the side. Good times had by all. What a great time! Guests in the booth: Chris Moneymaker, Mallory, as well. And uh, we were thrilled to have everyone join us tonight out there on YouTube and Twitch land. Heck yeah. What's this thousand here? Wait, two. Side bet, ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And again, we're streaming poker all the time over here, folks. And so I know there's a live stream from Austin tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Central Time. No, like. Poker never stops here on the oh, Poker never Live stops. channel. And if you're in the Texas area, you're a very short distance away from one of our four plus poker rooms in Houston, Dallas, Austin, and the Rio Grande Valley. So if you haven't ever done so, come through, check out one of our very cool poker rooms, and look at that. Oh my gosh. At that. <laughs> Izzy right, with the $5 <laughs> prop bet payoff super chat. Has anybody right, told Mallory how amazing she is? Six, Hands seven, down nine. the best person for this job. I, I won't take that time. personally. <laughs> Miss you, kissy face. I'll pay off your queen's yeah, prop queen, bet. Yes. LOL. Scoop. I'm up. <laughs> Golly. Thanks, Mallory's babe. crushing life. <laughs> oh, we don't know who yeah, is luckiest oh, so yeah, far yeah, other than Mallory. With her new lucky. bow. Nine? Oh my god. Aww. No. That was sweet. Was something. <laughs> that was so <laughs> sweet. Six. What do I need? Seven? No Three, four, Get five, six. Get on <laughs> I guess seven you should see. <laughs> That's a spread. Three. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> oh, four. I have three. Oh. 
Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm out here talking to we'll, we'll get a couples game on here, too. <laughs> you well, and you'll be surprised. So it, everyone can be insufferable easy. together. Well, it won't even be that. We're, it's, it's, fair, we're you got it. competitive. No Big time. He's like, I'm coming for your stack. I'm going to felt you. I'm going to get you a getter, guys. That's what he said. Free better ass. I'm like, honey. You've got other buy-ins in the pockets, hopefully. There is he. I just got to gotta slow my roll with these guys. I got to pick my time. I'll get them. They're really taking their time in defining who's got the winning hand here. We're on uh, I'm looking at the percentages, time. but I know it's not Sam, Sturdy, Safim, Danny. I'm being told it's SB, but it's just the slow roll of... Oh, good job, SB. Get a little rebate. The century. That makes me happy. 5-7 takes it down. Okay, folks. Uh, Mallory, do you have any parting words for the people before we send everybody home? Uh, thanks for thanks for playing with us. Thanks for watching with us. Uh, if you ever want to learn how to play poker, I mean, come down and play. Come check it out. Um, a lot of great people. And that's, that's about it. Great. Thank you, Mallory. And thanks to German Moneymaker for spending some time with us for the first two hours. To all the staff here at TCH for putting on a great show. Appreciate everyone out there. Thanks for watching the stream. And until tomorrow, live from Austin, good night.